Ishe. That I employ diplomacy in the way around this kingdom. Does not give anybody the liberty to walk into my palace and impose anything on me. Your Majesty, I, I am not imposing anything on you. Who am I to try that? I was only trying Tell me the explanations. We are talking about my immediate family here. I am the king of Umokbaleri Kingdom. And I do what I consider best whenever it concerns my immediate family. I can see that my king is getting away. But it hasn't gotten to that. Your Majesty, we are talking about the prince. Here. And why are you talking about my son, the prince? Did he not make it known from the beginning that he's not interested in the way we run this kingdom? So why will you come into my palace saying that you are talking about my son, the prince? Uh, uh, Undo. You are, you are a guard, no doubt. But you can address the king of this place. How dare you? How dare you? Undo is a guard attached to my son. He can talk to my son. He cannot talk to me. I, I'm sorry, your majesty. I'm sorry. Now make the case you have against my son and defend your case yourself. Your majesty. I've been seeing the prince with the maidens of this kingdom. And what is wrong if my son is sighted with maidens of this kingdom? Is he not a full grown man? Why? Why do you just want to provoke me for nothing? I, I am sorry, Your Majesty, but you must listen to me. The prince meddling with maidens of this kingdom only means. He wants to have a woman as a wife. Your Majesty, I believe it is time we expose his real wife to him. Should I tell you the truth, Iche? I'm all ears, Your Majesty. My son, the prince, does not have a woman we can expose as wife to him. Do you know why Umwezu went up in flames. They broke their prince and forced him to marry a strange woman. She entered the palace and desecrated their ancient ancestral stool. Iche, I cannot afford to make the same mistakes that others made. But, Your Majesty, I, I thought we had an understanding on this. Why do you still believe it's a mistake? The god of fertility departed from Bende dynasty for 12 years. No one got pregnant. Infant mortality grew to an unprecedented 100%. Bende almost got to the point of extinction. Do you know why? They forced their princess to marry a man she never loved. The man took her home and entered her as a woman. That was seen as rape in the eyes of the gods. A strange man had entered their princess. And that was the zenith of desecration in Bende. Iche, go home and try to understand why we cannot impose a maiden on my son, the prince. You said it yourself. He's already meddling with maidens of this kingdom. Soon, he'll show us the one that he loves. Then we shall support him and follow him to marry the maiden that his heart desires. What's the meaning of that? What's the meaning of that?
meaning of that? What, 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 what's, what's the meaning of that? Why would you disturb me from doing what they were doing? My prince. Yes? Is he and Azir just left the throne room? And what's my business with Shia Nazir leaving the throne room? Is that why you would stop me from entertaining me? My prince, I am your personal assistant. You should listen to me. Why would I listen to my personal assistant when it's not making sense? My prince, the king told the Shia Nazir that the prince has the right to select who his wife is. This means you now have the royal pronouncement you need to select who your wife is. My prince, you know me very well, and I don't, I don't joke with serious issues. The king said that he is not going to impose anything on the prince because he wouldn't want the kingdom to be destroyed like other kingdoms that got destroyed when they imposed a wife or a husband on the prince and the princess. What he's saying is that you are now free to select your own wife. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Why are you doing this? You're the prince of this land and I cannot look you in the face. Ngozika, you have to look at me. Look me in the face. Look me in the eye. You will see something different. I... I just did. I saw the prince. Ngozika, that's what everyone sees. But please, I want you to look me in the eye and tell me what you see, see differently. Why do you want me to, to be different? I am a maiden of Umo Balewi. I must surely see what others say. No, because see, that is what they all see. But please, I want you to look differently. Look, you will see something different. The maidens of Umo Balewi Kingdom believe you are gentle and harmless. A good number of them would pose nude for your entertainment if you tell them to do so. I look at you and I see a harmless prince. A prince who wouldn't take advantage of anyone. Because that's what I am. That is what I am. So you see, I personal assistant. Please run, run, run. He has a loud mouth. Run, run. I'll see you later, okay? Mm. All right. Um, uh, um, what happens? Mm. My prince? Yes? I heard you mm. talking with someone. Am Who I is not, the person? Am I not allowed to speak alone now? Can't I talk to myself? In simple language, my prince, that is lunacy. Let me see. Are you saying I'm mad? Are you saying I'm going to say? I am sorry, my prince, but I, I'm speaking based on what you said. That you were talking to yourself. Mm. I, in this kingdom, that is madness. I, I, I don't know about other kingdoms. Let me see. Can you just shut up and give me what I told you to get from me? Your gold. As crafted by the best ghost in our kingdom. It was not easy convincing many people to give it to me. Nice. Yes, I know. Uh, but my prince, what are you doing with, with, with gold? Well, um, I am uh, giving it to a meeting. You are not serious, are you? Of course I'm serious. My prince! Yes? Maidens of this land do not know the value of gold. Why would you think of offering gift of gold to a maiden of this kingdom? Do we see? People who know the value of gold were not born with the knowledge of it. They start to know its value when they start handling it. Now, this maiden, after I must have given her the gift, will know the value of gold. Thank you. Uh, my prince, please, please, wait, wait. What? Oh, who is this maiden you are planning to destroy by teaching her the value of gold? Do we see? What's the problem I have with you? You feel you know everything, but you know nothing.
just opened the door. Something came up and I want us to discuss. It's urgent. My prince. What kind of nonsense is this? Where is he? The prince is not in his room. Where is he? The prince security is a responsibility of time. And he has to protect the palace of Kai Palace. I am trying to understand the meaning of that rubbish you just said now. I am equally trying to understand the reason why you're asking me this silly question by this time of the night. Again. The prince is not in this palace. I'm asking you as the guard on duty, if you have seen him, why are you not willing to ask him? The prince is not in this palace. Are you okay now? Are you okay now? Did he tell you where he has gone? Come on, man. Look at this man. The prince is going to come back in this palace. I don't be there to welcome him back. I don't even know what to do to him whether to slap you or whether to pour sand into your face. If you want to make me to pour sand at my face. Why? Because you are a goat. And your father was a cow. He said, I am going to deal with you in this place. You could be saying whatever they call you. To go, go, go. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. You're not going to do anything. I give it to you because you're the best, and I'm happy you love it. It's one of the best I have ever seen. Thank you so much. Thank you. I would never forget this night. And I'll never forget the day I gave you a gift. A gift you accepted with all your heart. Some people will not be happy if they discover that the prince walks the night because of me. A common maiden. forget about people. Only remember us. And forget about any useless sentiments or relevance attached to royalty. I am a freeborn, a free indigene of this kingdom and I'm free to move anytime I want. And tonight I've come to you because we have a future together. You confuse me when you say that. We live in a kingdom where elders decide the fate of every maiden. Whatever we feel for ourselves, I don't see the elders bringing us together. I don't. Tomorrow we'll dwell on this particular topic you have raised. But for now, 
my dear. We have to go. Please leave. You leave. You are my guest. And you're the woman. It's the man's duty to watch his woman as she leaves. Please. Please leave before you put me into trouble. Or before someone sees us. Squad. Next time they will say that they are the, the keepers of the palace. Yet they never stay in the palace. Ndara, what I know very well is that if Chupu Adoma did not guide the kingdom, in vain is people like you staying away. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you indirectly making jest of me or what? I thought we have something important to say. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Have you seen the prince? Uh, yes. I saw a preacher in the evening. The preacher was saying something about the prince of peace. The prince of peace. I became interested. But the preacher did not tell me more about this prince of peace or where to find him. Are you talking about the same, pri the same prince of peace? Uh, nah, of peace listen, listen to me. I don't know who is prince of peace. I am talking of prince Ubaka of Awomo Valley Kingdom. Have you seen him? Nonsense! Prince is now a night crawler. On a we were in the night. I'm very happy. But if you see him, ask him whether he has seen me. I know that one day I will crawl into him. All is crawling. Yes, they say you are you're so bad. But we can't see any money. We can't see any money! That wet is spring is the meaning of a back, but we can't see wet. We can't even see wet. Not to talk about the earth. No, 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 see, are you going to see the money or the wet in the grave or in the grave? Stupid money. Go and sleep. The freeze is everywhere. I never knew you were like this. Please leave so I could go in. Morning will meet us here if you refuse to leave because I am going nowhere. Oh, please! My house is around the corner. Please leave before someone sees us. So if your house is around the corner, why don't you just go in while I watch your back? <laughs> you win, stubborn prince. Good night. My prince. So what are you doing here? I should be the one asking you what you are doing here. What are you doing and asking you by this ungodly hour of the night? My prince, I'm taking a walk. Okay, am I not allowed to take a walk again? My prince, you left the palace by this hour of the night taking a walk without your personal assistant? My, my prince, this is wrong. Do we see? I came to Aki without my personal assistant because I don't want him to know where I'm going. And I'm actually disappointed my personal assistant, who should know better, will follow me to Aki this night. Look at Maya. Good night. Stop following me. Good! Good! <laughs> now, if my father said that, and what you're saying is true, that means I already have my maid. Oh yes, oh yes! I have a maiden in Aki who will be my wife. <laughs> my prince, you have a maiden in Aki? Yes! My prince, I hope it's not the same maiden you have been going to Aki to see because I know many men is there. Look, I don't care about who you know, okay? All I'm telling you is that I have a maiden in Aki who will be the queen. That's it. 
My prince, it does not work that way. And how does it work? My prince, I am your personal assistant. And I am telling you that it, it does not work that there are some certain things you cannot just do without, without me. Listen here, okay? Listen, what is my personal assistant's business in whom I decide to marry or whom I do not marry? It's my personal life and requires no personal assistant. I agree it is your personal life and that is why it has become my personal business. I am your personal assistant. You cannot just decide to marry a woman without my contribution. Listen to me, my prince. Now that you have the space to select your own wife, you don't have to cage yourself with this maiden from Aki that we don't know. No! You have to open your eyes, my prince. You are going to make a choice from an assemblage of maidens. Omo Aleri is a land of maidens, my prince. Don't decide on only one person. <laughs> That's why these ones are there. That's why they have to leave. <laughs> assemblage of Maybe my prince. <laughs> Uzane, there is something about the prince and his, his charisma. Azuka, please spare me the details. We are maidens employed to serve the prince. I'm not to discuss about him. I am not discussing about him. I'm only about telling you what I'm experiencing as a woman. What is it? Now listen. The spirit of dance lives in the prince. You may not have noticed, but the way he looks at you when you dance for him, you would discover that you hardly get tired. See, the spirit of dance that lives with the prince is communicating with your own dance. And it makes the union become inseparable. That is why you can dance and dance and dance for hours without getting tired at all. That we haven't get tired does not have anything to do with the prince. It's just because we are trained dancers. Look, Prince Obaka is not the only one I've danced for. I've danced for many people before I was permanently assigned to dance for him. But, but there is something unique about dancing for the Prince. And that uniqueness comes from the fact that the spirit of dance lives within him. As the keeper of this palace, I demand to know what both of you are discussing here? Our sole business here is to dance for the prince. So we are discussing on what to add to our dancing steps so that the prince can appreciate us. Dancing for the prince is not the same thing as seducing the prince. So whatever you are trying to add to your dancing step must not have any element of seduction. Even the marginal seduction I've already noticed in your dancing steps must be expunged immediately because we don't need that in the palace. Both of you have specific roles to play in this palace and I want you to restrict your duties to those specific roles. Asuk, I blame you for this. You blame me for what? The prince is not comfortable with the elements of seduction in our dance. That's why he sent Ndubisi to come and tell us. As for me, tomorrow, I'm going to my normal dance. The king looked me straight in the eyes and told me that his son, Prince Obaka, will choose a maiden for himself. I called you because you are the one who groomed the chosen maiden for us. Do you think what the king said is right or wrong? Uche, mm -hmm. I don't know if the king is right or wrong. What I know is that the self-selected maiden has already lost total confidence in the entire process. What, what, what do you mean by losing total confidence in the entire process? Four months ago, uh. she told me that she wasn't sure if the prince would eventually marry her. And I asked her to explain her reasons. She said that subsequent developments will prove her either right or wrong. Judging from what you just told me now, I can say that my maiden was right. Oh, you, you sound as if you have lost, you have lost confidence or you have not totally given up. Don't give up yet. We have to convince our prince to marry our chosen maiden. I'm sorry, Chair. But I will not allow the prince to marry my maiden if he does not recognize her or appreciate her as a woman. He must freely come to terms that she is the best. 
But as long as he's still looking elsewhere, he will never marry my mother. Ndubisi, I don't know you too well. I only know you as a trusted nobleman that is attached to Prince Ubaka. So it is not possible for me to make you a promise when I don't even know what I'm promising. Uzoma, I want you to understand something. I have perfected plans to make you the queen of Uma Bani of the kingdom. So I came here this early for you to tell me what I stand to gain if I make you the queen. You want to make me the queen of this land? <laughs> but how is that possible? It is very possible. You already said it that I am the trusted gentleman that is attached to the prince. That is correct. Absolutely correct. And I, I want you to understand that that attachment has a whole lot of sides. Because I am the one that practically decides everything around the prince. Every maiden in this kingdom, all of them, they want to be queen. Unfortunately, all of them cannot be queen because you are the one I am going to make the queen. So I want you to tell me, if I use all the powers at my disposal to make you the queen, what do I stand to gain? If you make me the queen of this land, um, I am going to make her time to come and dance for you each day. Why will you say dance? Why will you say dance? What do we say? Why are you sounding like you're not a man of this land? I'm a man of this land, and you know it yourself. I'm a full man of this immobile kingdom. But I was expecting you to make me promise of something tangible. And you're saying dance. What will I be doing with dance? How in the BC? You know, dancing is a very big business in this land. Apart from masquerade, which remains an exclusive business for the men, dancing is next in line. So if a woman should dance for you, man, that is the biggest honor she can give to the man. If you make me the queen of this land, I'll make her time to come dance for you every day. Uh, uh, listen to me, Uzoma. I want you to understand something. I live in the palace. And we have maidens in the palace that are commissioned to dance for the prince. Every morning. Wonderful dancers. And I have watched them countless number of times. I am just wondering, what is it that you have that you think can dwarf what I've seen about those maidens? When it comes to dancing, what, what can you offer? What is it? Well, I'll leave it to be the judge. <laughs> something you're not telling me. His Royal Majesty, Ezomenoko of Omapaneri Kingdom, told Ichianese something that gives me the impression that your fear is justified. Which of my fears? You told me that you saw a situation where the prince chose another maiden in place of you. Have they have they finally declared who the lucky maiden is? No, they did not. They only said that the prince has the right to choose a wife from the maidens. Is that what you saw? That made you lose confidence in a process that could have made you the wife of the prince and the queen of this land? I saw the one they call the prince comparing me to other maidens in this kingdom and even to some other maidens from other lands. I decided there and then that he is not my man. My man shouldn't have to compare me. I ought to be his best, his permanent best. 
Are you telling me that you're not going to be bothered if the prince fails to marry you? I won't be bothered. There are so many maidens he can choose from. Our land is a land filled with maidens. There's hardly a family without a maiden in it. So, what gladdens my heart is that I can hold my own amongst my fellow maidens. The prince can go ahead and marry whoever he wants to marry. Osioma, daughter of Okisi, will not die a single lady. I will get married someday. And when I do, I'll be married to the best. That's the spirit. I am happy that you are victim the maturity of a queen. You know what she did? She sneaked up to the prince to show her face. That is abysmal and unacceptable. As far as I'm concerned, she is one tree out of the forest. So I want you to continue walking towards the crown. How do you mean she's one tree out of the forest? How do you mean? Were you listening to me at all? Were you? She looked the prince in the eyes and told him that he would never have her. She said that? She said that to the prince? How come I didn't hear that part? Why are you this excited? No, no, no. Don't tell me you have been scared of this girl all this while. You are scared? How could you be scared of her? Of course not. How can I possibly be scared of her? After all, I know that I am the best dancer. So I can't be scared of her. I'm just worried that the prince might change his mind and decide to go for the maiden groom for him. Uzoma, should I be very sincere with you? I am disappointed in you. Are you joking or what? No. You mean to say you have been scared of this girl all this while we've been working together and you didn't tell me? No, but see, please, don't misunderstand me. Please, don't. I know I can still be the best dancer that day. You know this tradition, how it works. I know I can still be the best that day. But I'm just scared that the tradition might come to take its curse. Listen to me. Anybody who is working with me must live above fear. You don't have to be afraid of anything, anybody, any maiden, any tradition or whatsoever. We have a target and that is the crown. So I want you to concentrate and keep walking towards the crown. I want you to continue thinking about that crown, please. Okay. <laughs> My prince, I know Gozeka. In fact, I can say that I know her very well. And based on what I know about Ngozeka of Aki, I want you to forget her completely. Then why should I forget her? My prince, very simple. Yes. Based on color or figuration of both of you, she cannot be your wife. What rubbish are you talking about? My prince, I have already seen your queen. She is the one I want you to meet. Because she is the one I want you to marry. And when you marry the girl I am talking about, all the maidens of this kingdom shall surrender under her supremacy. Because they will acknowledge the fact that you marry the best. Who is this your maiden? Where is she from? God will kill me. If I should ever travel out of this kingdom to go and bring your wife, my prince, I'm up, voila. I can't do a thing like that, my prince. I am talking of a maiden who is a full-blown maiden of Umar the kingdom. She is the one that I want you to make your wife. Her name is Uzuma. And she is coming to this palace tomorrow on my invitation. What? Do we see? Wait. You invited the maiden into the palace without my permission? My prince, because I am your personal assistant of action, and action speaks louder than words. If I continue telling you about this maiden by words of mouth, you will never take me serious. And this is why I reduce everything to action. She is going to come here tomorrow, my prince. 
and then you are going to look at her. You will observe her, and then you will take the real action. Hey, by making her the point, my prince, <laughs> you will have this girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I truly am. Of course you should be. Do you know what you have done? Going to the priest in that manner? I was just curious. I wanted to see his face. And then, now that you have seen his face, what have you achieved? He has seen mine. Now I am no longer a mystery to him. He knows what I look like now. And he also knows what he will be missing. Don't be silly, Ozioma. What has come over you? This is not what I taught you. This is not the noble woman I groomed you to be. I am highly disappointed in you. Well, like I said, I am sorry. But I truthfully do not see anything wrong in what I did. Everything is wrong with what you did. It looks like you are so desperate for the prince to take notice of you. Desperate? Daoji, how can you even say that? Because that is what it seems like. Listen to me, Ozioma. I don't want what happened yesterday to happen again. Are we clear? Other maidens must continue to look up to you, no matter what. Even if you do not become the queen, you are still who you are. And who am I? You are a mystery. A child of destiny. The light that shines in our land. The choice of the ancestors. The choosing of the gods. That is who you are. Beautiful. It's about the finest good I have ever seen. Where did you get it from? Crafted by the best goldsmith of our land. <sighs> Delivered from the palace. I, I don't get that. Delivered to you from which palace? From the palace of our Mokbaleri kingdom, of course. my way. The prince is looking your way. Are you this excited? You don't want the prince to look my way? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Are you not happy the prince looks my way? Of course I am not. I am not. Yes. Because the prince has someone already groomed for him. So whatever you feel for him is to say the least foolish. Kill that thing in time before he gains ground and forces you out of circulation. And before you know it, you end up heartbroken. And if you're not careful, you end up committing suicide. I'm at you. Are you aware that I was on my own and the prince approached me? And are you ever under the illusion that you were the only one he approached? He approached so many, but no one took him serious because we know his future is already hooked to a particular need. Forget about people. Only remember us. And forget about any useless sentiments or relevance attached to royalty. I am a free born, a free indigenous of this kingdom, and I'm free to move anytime I want. And tonight I've come to you because we have a future together. What he feels for me is different from what he has ever felt for any maiden. Mom, I know what he told me. And I can swear on my life that he has never said that on any maiden. I know what he said. <laughs> my friend is living in fool's paradise. 
<laughs> this is so unfortunate. <laughs> Amachi, you're just being too jealous. And I don't want to talk about my private life again. Please. Of course, you know I'm not. Why would I want to be jealous? I'm only trying to advise you like a friend. You know you're a maiden of class in this town. My dear, do you must still be there. My prince, her name is Uzoma. She is the beautiful maiden of our land that I told you about. She's finally here in the palace to present herself before you, my prince. Uzoma, you know already that this is the place of our land. Now I want you to take a walk before the prince, like your queen. Convince him beyond any doubt that you are indeed the queen we are going to bring you to the palace. <laughs> the floor is yours. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful, isn't she? Can you smile for the prince? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Can you please turn your back home? Oh. <laughs> Did you see that, my prince? Isn't she wonderful? My prince, please say something. Uh. My dear, kindly excuse us, we'll get back to you. Thank you very much, my friends. Okay. You know, I am, I am very, very certain that she is the one you are going to make your wife. She is awesome. I must admit that uh, she's beautiful. Oh, thank you, my prince. Uh, you know, she walks with poise with style and uh, you know she would make a very good dancer thank you my prince I also admit that uh, from the look of her she would make a very good and responsible wife oh. <laughs> my prince thank you so much I am humbled with the assessment and judgment yes. you know I already told people that I have a wonderful wise man as the prince in this palace. Yes. Thank you for accepting to marry her almost yes, immediately. Yes. I am humbled. Yes, yes. And I also admit that I am willing to disappoint you. Yeah. You see that girl? She has nothing close to Ngozi of Aki. My prince. Yes. It has become very clear to me that you have tested the love portion of Ngozi of Aki. And I am going to resist her. You're going to resist her? With everything in me. You will resist her. I will not resist to tell you that what attracts you, you in BBC, in a woman, is not what attracts me. Do you understand me? That is not what attracts me. And it's very obvious that I will not resist to tell you that you will not be part of my decision making with regards to having a wife. Get out of my sight! Leave here with this instance. Yes. What did he finally say? He found you irresistible. He wanted to have you out of sight before he would tell me that you are unique. <laughs> Very nice. So, um, has he accepted to make me the queen? My dear, it follows a process and we are already in the process. Okay? I want you to leave now and allow me to continue from where you stopped. But one thing that is relevant is that you have succeeded in sowing a seed inside of him. Allow me to make that seed to Germany. Okay? You are going to be the next queen of this land. That is settled and that is sure. <laughs> hmm. Now that I breathe the fresh air of this palace, I want to reassure you that once I become the queen of this kingdom, I will make you very, very relevant. I will always remember that. But you have to go now, okay? I will see you later.
when she has already failed the examination. How am I going to read this girl to you? How? What I told the chair was a decision I took as king. There's no need to discuss it any further. Who am I to interfere in your decision, my king? I came here to find out if you have communicated with the prince already. I did not discuss the decision with the prince because I believe he will hear what I said. How then did he hear if you did not communicate to him personally? My dear, the prince lives with me here in this palace. And we all know that the palace walls have ears. Look, he couldn't have confronted me if he didn't hear what I said. Don't let that bother you. The prince is free to make his own choice. And who knows, he may select the maiden you groomed for him. If that happens, then we all shall know that the gods don't make mistakes. And we shall lend our support. When is he going to make this selection? A lot of things are still being planned. Just leave things to unfold on their own. Undo, there used to be a festival in this town called Nkwa Mwabo. It's a festival that attracts suitors and noblemen into our land. This is where princes and noblemen pick their wives from during this festival. I have never heard of this Nkwa Mwabo festival before. This Nkwa Mwabo festival has not been organized for over a hundred years because our former king, Ahuenyi Amaleyi, abolished it. Do you know why? Because of the kind of dance steps our ladies were unleashing. Suitors were coming from far and near to come and pick up our women. So he abolished it. So if uh, a king of this land already applauded the festival, why are we here discussing it? Because our incumbent has decided that his prince <laughs> must choose a wife from among the ladies. So I have uh, discussed with uh, the elders in council that we can organize uh, this Unkwa Mabongo for the first time after a hundred years so that our prince will have the opportunity of selecting his, his, his wife. I have never experienced this festival before. In fact, this is the first time I'm hearing about it, but I am beginning to like it. I can already visualize the picture of beautiful maidens standing out, dancing in their fury, just to entertain the prince. You can say that again. I think it's going to be a wonderful experience. The prince himself will be thrilled. He will be the judge during that day. Then he will select or pick the best maiden amongst all the maidens that will come and display their dance steps. Any lucky maiden will be crowned the queen in waiting on the spot. When you the kind of rookie, it is so good that it is happening during my time. I am excited. <laughs> very, very excited. It's here. You know, I've been meaning to ask you through this. Why do you do what you do? Huh? Why? Why is it that both of you come to entertain me at the same time? Why is it that one doesn't come today to dance and then the next comes tomorrow. Why? My prince, it is the age-long tradition of our people that the prince must never be alone with a maiden. There must be at least two maidens at a time. So what are they trying to avoid? My prince, we don't know what they are actually planning to avoid. But we know that Nanyo Jugo could be forced to recommend punishment on us if it is ever reported that we are appearing before you individually. Look, I know what they're trying to avoid. I know. They have gradually insulted every prince. They have insulted every single prince. Yes! And they see you maidens as debased people who would have no option but to seduce every prince. Yes, that's it. And they see my very self as somebody who doesn't have resistance. Somebody who cannot control himself, who has no self-control. Are you beginning to see the insult? No, are you beginning to see the insult? I am sorry. But we don't see it as an insult. Really? Yes. 
We are only following the age-long tradition of this land. There were laws made several years before our mothers were married. So, I don't see why we should take this, this, this personal. That's what you think you're following. What of you? Leave, 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 leave. Go! Ah! Why do you always do this? No, seriously, why do you always do this? Why? Why, why, why do you always do this? Now, let me tell you, whatever powers you feel you have flows through me. You understand me? What's wrong with you? My prince, I already discussed extensively with Ishii and Azia. And I am now sick and tired of the marginal dance there from these maidens that keep loitering around you. This kingdom is planning something big and you are going to be the ultimate beneficiary, my prince. Maybe you see, you have better say something to excite me down. Uh, my prince, there is a festival called Unkwa Umabobo Festival in this land. I don't know if you have heard about it. Well, my grandmother told me about it. She said it's, it's one outlawed festival and even at present we are angry about it. My prince, Ishii and Azia and other elders and council are planning to revive that festival. In fact, that festival is going to hold and you are going to be the ultimate judge. All the maidens of this land shall gather to dance for you. And you're going to make a choice of one maiden who is going to be your wife. And the king is going to name her the coming queen of this land. <laughs> Telling you what is being planned. Beautiful maidens. They all will all gather. They are dancing for my prince. <laughs> and I'm the only judge. You are the judge. Oh my God. <laughs> that is something I can live with. That's something I will remember for the rest of my life. It's coming soon, my prince. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. The impression among our people is that King Ahwenya Malenyi abolished the Nkwaoma Bogo Festival because it was attracting foreigners. That is not true. That was not the reason for the abolition of the festival. So, how do you know, Father? Was he documented? Oh, yes. He documented his reason. He said that the festival was attracting evil spirits um, and that a maiden was so engulfed in the dance that her feet were separated from the ground and she was hanging in the air. This caused pandemonium amongst the people. A lot of people were running to their homes and they got wounded. When the evil spirit left the girl, she fell to the ground and couldn't explain what happened. That was why he outlawed the festival. festival. And now the others in council want to revive this festival. What are you going to do, Father? Are you going to allow them or stop this festival immediately? You will be the ultimate judge of that. Any maiden you select will be crowned queen in waiting immediately. Um, but I'll suggest that you go to Odomiwele, the paramount god of our land to ask for guidance. Father, I am not going to do that. I'm sorry. Yes, I agree. I have a maiden who, who is after my heart, who I want as queen. So why would I go to Odumiwele to, to tell? No, See, I am the, just going to be the ultimate judge in a free and fair contest. That's it, Father. Please. This festival is going to attract a lot of uh, attention. You will see beauty in its undiluted form. See, may be confused. Choosing the wrong queen also has its attendant problems. But going to Odumiwele to ask for permission, for guidance, for wisdom, Odumiwele will help you to ensure that you do not make mistakes. Father, I won't do that. I'm sorry I will not go to Odumiwele. Yes, I have a maiden who is after my heart, who I want to be my queen. So why would I go to tell Odumiwele? I am going to be the ultimate judge in a free and fair contest. That's it. I am talking from my position as king. And I'm talking from my own position as the one in the center of everything. Father, please, please, let, just let me. I am going to choose the best. And when I tell you the best, I will choose the best. That's it. It's going to be free and fair. I'm going to any or do or do me well. As you have refused to humble yourself before Odumiwele, let me give you another information. 
Uh, I'm sorry, Father. I, I want to clarify something here. I did not refuse to humble myself before Odumi Uwena. Uh, who am I to do that? Why would I do that? Uh, all I'm saying is that I want this festival to run as an experimental event. That's it. If that is what you want, I will leave you with your choice. Thank you, Father. My Prince, what did the King say? Uh, he said I should go to Odumi Uwele and announce who would become my future queen. Initially I said no, but now I'm beginning to see reasons with it. I'm sorry my prince, but I don't understand what you mean by it. You are beginning to see reasons with it. Uh, you know, the process of this festival could be quite confusing. Yes, you know, it's not only humans that will be in attendance. Also, evil spirits will be in attendance. So I don't want any evil spirit to pass me over an evil woman. I don't want to make a mistake in the BC. I do not. Okay. Let us assume you are now standing before Odumi Wele. Yeah. Who is that maiden you are going to name as your choice? Who else? No, who else but Ngozi of Haki? Who else? She is the only one I'm ready to settle with as my best. She's the only one. My prince, as your personal assistant, I am not ever going to allow you to bring this festival to Oreneko. Do see? My prince, this is the very first Nkumabogo festival that we shall be experiencing in the last 100 years of this kingdom. All the maidens of this land must be given equal and fair opportunity to prove themselves. There is no way I will ever allow any maiden of this land to ride on the back of Odumi Wele to assume position as the common queen of this land. All oh, my men will be seen. The only problem I have with you, what? you're never objective. How? You are never ever objective. Have I gone to Odumi Wele before making my choice? No, have I done that? Eh, but no, 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 no. Why would you say she's riding on the back of Odumi Wele? Why would you say that? Okay. If you go to Odumi Wele, you will say that Ngozika of Akiji is the choice that yes. you have. Yes. And then during the festival, you are going to go ahead and name her the queen. Oh, yes. Even when she has not convinced anybody that she's good. Now, have you bothered to ask yourself what the people will say? I don't care about what the people say. I care about the love of my life. It's my life. Hey, but the process that is going to define that love must be love itself. What you are doing has no love. You have named Ngozik of Haki already even before the festival. That means you have not allowed the maidens of this land to prove themselves. That is no love, my prince. And there is no way I will allow that as your personal assistant. It is not possible. You are bringing this thing to ridicule. And in fact, you are not going to do it. Your personal assistant says so. No. This cannot be. How do they want to disgrace me this way? After all the training that I got? After all the time I wasted trying to be royalty? And now this. Okay, now come back. Go ahead. You know when you're working, see, see nobody. Because everybody there is mine. You are the only queen. And that is how it's supposed to be. Because you are royalty in the making. <laughs> that is how it's supposed to be. See. Do share this way. See. Move. And then you look into his eyes. Because that is where your power is. Let me see you do it. Good. <laughs> That's my pain in the making. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. You're doing it well. <laughs> Come back. Huh? <laughs> yes. Every other melon are under you. <laughs> Don't be shy, continue. You know, it's only the queen, only the prince that has to notice you. You don't see any other person, see every other person as minor. You are the only one.
will not eat your food. Why? I'm tired of this sauce. I want to eat any other food aside this. Other foods like what? Like, like normal food. Food that would taste nice in my mouth and in my belly. Why can't I eat what other people eat? Uzuma, because you are our coming queen. We must be mindful of what you eat. You are not allowed to grow fat. So that the prince will not feel you are not good enough. That's my point exactly. It makes me feel sick. Knowing that the man whom all of this is for, I don't even know him. He does not even know me. Don't worry. You will know him soon and you will love him. But why can't he accept me like the normal person that I am? Why do I have to go through all this just for me to be acceptable in this sight? You see, these are the sacrifices you make to be queen. Don't give up. Yes? What is it? Why are you blocking my path? You listen to that, Uchi. You're not supposed to go anywhere. I don't understand. Am I into some kind of bondage or what? Why can't I go out? There are maidens of my age grade out there. I am going to be with them. I am going to mix up with them. I want to go out there and make friends. I want to live a little. I want to breathe. I don't know how I'll say this, but you cannot go out. And who's going to stop me? You? What's you? going on here? She wanted to go out and I told her she cannot. And I demand to know why it is I cannot go out. I really don't understand this arrangement. Am I suddenly a prisoner of some sort? Why do I have to have him in front of me, in my compound, blocking me from going to where I want to go? Mika, leave us. It is clear to me that you woke up from the wrong side of your bed this morning. No. No, I slept well, and I woke up well. Now, to the issue at hand, why can't I go out? Why? Because you are a queen in the making. Oh. You are like an eagle. You are placed in the sky where your ashes are like mystery to the lesser being. You don't have to mingle with other maidens that would dent you. How long, how long exactly would this continue? It will continue until the day you'll be exposed to the prince as his wife and the queen of this land. Ozioma, we have come a long way. You cannot just stop now. You can't start feeling bad right now. Okay? <laughs> Why did I have to go through all that? Why? I denied myself everything to have him. Now I will have to file out with others for him to make a choice.
reading the Ozioma. Do you want me to, to sit down here all day? Ozioma. You can do this no matter what. I am like your mother. In fact, I am your mother. Zuma, you cry? What is the problem? Go ahead and talk to me. All my life. Ever since I was 10, my late mother taught me how I was supposed to live. She taught me how I was supposed to carry myself. And then she died. And you came into my life and taught me saying you taught me how to carry myself as royalty you said I was never to be found mingling with other maidens because I am different you taught me to carry my shoulders high and not eat certain food That's right. even the ones I loved so much all that and more I did simply because I wanted to do this right. That is true. What has changed? What has changed? You ask me what has changed, Daoche. Look at me. Look at me. I have been rejected by the prince. Why did I even go through all this? Why did I bother? Why did the tradition have to change at my own time? All oh, my sleepless nights, all oh, my starvation, everything is just nothing but a total waste of time. <laughs> all that means nothing. You are still what and who you are. That the prince decided to choose a wife among the maidens. Do not change anything. I feel so worthless. <laughs> but you already made me to understand that you don't bother about the change. Oh. You, even, you even make me believe that you have lost all the interest in the prince. <laughs> Why this? It's okay, my dear. I always want you to understand that you are different. I want you to, to know that you are unique and different no matter what people think. <laughs> Other maidens do not have the kind of training that you have. And that stands you out, my dear. It's okay. I want you to always know that you are who you are. She's been groomed for you. Even some maidens fear and respect her because we all see her as queen. Listen, I have no problem with the respect you've accorded her. No problem at all. But seeing her as queen, oh please, please. Even before my father decided to change the way things are done, I was always dreaded with the idea of marrying somebody I'd never met or been with before. I never saw myself doing that. Now my prince is talking. So, tell me what she wants. Uh, yeah, that shouldn't bother you. Yes, she came to meet me. But all that matters is you and I. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. And why are you surprised? Hmm. It's just that you've never shown interest in what the maidens do or say. Yeah. But you know the reason for that. So, that I'm interested now should not surprise you. I was really angry when I heard about the king's decision. Why is everybody going on and on about the king's decision? Really? Why won't they be angry? Why won't they say that? Was it not the king that asked Prince Ubaka to choose a wife from the maidens when he knew you were the one groomed for him? I disagree. If Prince Ubaka had not shown interest in other maidens, the king would not have had to make that decision. Prince Ubaka just hides behind his father, the king, to do whatever he likes. Confused. I, I don't know what to believe. It's okay. That's not even why I asked that you come. I want to know how the preparations for the dance is going. Tell me. The maidens. They are all enthusiastic about it. Yes. They, you said. Are you not one of them? Yes, I know I'm one of them. It's not like I'm not excited about it. It's just that seeing what the whole situation is doing to you it makes me feel, it makes me have no interest. You don't have to be like that. Okay? I mean, look at me. What is it doing to me? Nothing. I am fine. So feel free to join the others. Okay? Okay. Hi, <laughs> Okay, we're actually letting you leave that. Okay. Let me this that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, um. A maiden groomed for the prince has the audacity to come into the palace to confront the king. Could that be the training she got? What is she up to? Believe me, they are most excited. You see, Ngozi, she believes that the prince is hers already. Even though she can hardly move her body. But Uzoma, that one, busybody, she thinks she's the best dancer. I'm not surprised. Is she not the one I saw with the prince the night I approached the prince? Right. Ngozi, right? Yes. I saw them together. Yes. In fact, I suspect they have something in common. Mm, my dear, don't just suspect. They have something going on. Yes, something very strong. He even gave her gold necklace. Yes. Really? Um, then she must be the one that he has settled for. I really don't know that one. I don't know. But let me ask you. What do you feel about this? About what? I mean, about the prince abandoning you to... Don't. Don't do that. I already told you I am not bothered. So, she too shouldn't be bothered. Let's go. Listen, Uzuma, wait. Listen, I am your friend. I am not your child. I am a full-grown woman. I know what your feelings are. And I know you're hot and betrayed. I know. That is the least of what I feel, really. But I'm hearty. Don't misunderstand my intentions for deciding to mingle with my fellow maidens. She don't know how much I have missed out on all the activities. So, I'm on my way to familiarizing with them yet again. Seriously? Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen, all the maidens will be so delighted to have you back as part of the Moonlight Day. Yes, they will. Oh, you'll be very happy. Well, I have to start from somewhere. I can't just jump it through on them. Listen, 
wherever you want to start from. I trust your wisdom. <laughs> trust your wisdom, yes. Yes. Besides, the prince already made it clear who he wants to deal with. So, it will be punishment on myself to continually hope and believe that that one day he will look my way. No. Osuma will never be a second fiddle to any man. Good. Now you're talking like my friend. That is what it takes to be royalty, you know. <laughs> Gerald, okay? I do not get this. You don't have to get it. Just know she poses no threat to you or anyone, okay? Why has she suddenly started coming for the moonlight play? What kind of question is that? Is she not a maiden of this kingdom? Is she not? Tell me more, Amarachi. What is she up to? I can... I can say something, but... I, can, I can't place my hands on what it is. get you. Sometimes when you speak, I, I wonder if it's this your chicken brain you intend using to become a girl. Are you mad? Why would you talk to me like that? Why wouldn't I talk to you like that? Didn't you hear yourself? Why would you ever think that Ozioma was sent to spy on us? For what? And by who if I may ask you? It's okay. Just keep whatever you know to yourself. I've always known that any time I come to you for anything, it will result in insults. Are you flying off for nothing now? Wait, Biko! I came for the moonlight play. Am I a madman or something? I came to give you information. 
when Kwaumabo was festival, the first in a hundred years has been approved. Therefore, I came to ask you to stop dancing for the maidens. I want you to start in time to learn the dancing step you are going to unleash that day so that you are going to be the one they are going to select. Nkwaumabo dancing festival, the one that was abolished over hundred years ago. How would you say it is being organized? Listen to me, I am not just a man of this kingdom. I am a masquerade that lives in the palace with the king. I know everything they are planning. And I am telling you that all the maidens of this land are going to file out to dance for the queens during the Nkwaumabowa festival that is being planned. The king has already approved that the prince is free to make a choice. The elders and council decided to organize the first Nkwaumabowa festival in a hundred years. Therefore, you have to stop wasting your talent. Do not dance for all these our useless meetings in this kingdom. Start to practice for you to be the one they are going to select. The prince will select the best and I want you to be that best. When you get back there, don't dance again. That's why I came to tell you. No, 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 no. What did he say? Oh. He said they are organizing Nkwa Umabo Festival. Oh. The one that was abolished over 100 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. That all the maidens are expected to dance. Yeah, they dance. The prince will select the best dancer and she will finally emerge as the queen. Wow! That's the good news now. That means, that means you're the next queen. Yeah. 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 Why would you say that? Next queen? Do I know the prince any better than you do? It has nothing to do with knowing him or not knowing him. You're the best dancer among the maidens. <coughs> <coughs> if the contest is free and fair, that means you're our next queen. How can you say that? Does she dance better than you? Can't you see? You can dance. Oh, yeah, come out and dance. Ndubisi we know in this land is very, very influential. For him to come for Zoma, it's significant. And why would you say that? Uzoma is simply a maiden just like all of us. That Ndubisi has come for her means nothing. See, Chinwendu, I don't want to stand here discussing Ndubisi and Uzoma. Have you heard? Have you heard the rumors making the rounds? Why do you always talk as if you don't know me well? I don't have time for rumors. Let all men and women be informed. The festival of Umpa Umabo has been announced by the king. His Highness Prince Ubaka shall select one of the maidens during the festival and that maiden shall become his wife and the queen of Umabare the kingdom. All families must present the best on the third AK, after this AK market day, the festival shall hold on the square of Odum Iwere. That's exactly what I was about saying. The Nkoma War Festival is coming up. And it means only one thing. That I, Ujumwa, Abwe Ejumwa Mao, Shall be the one that must be selected. Biko 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 kolo gaba biko sna ogeni. Don't underrate me. Why you sent for me? Did you listen to the tank cry last night? Yes, ma'am. Is there anything the matter? The festival they are trying to bring back is the second highest festival of this land. It comes only after Otandoba. Millions of this land are lost to death because of the abolition of that very festival. So, in summary, you are excited that they revive the festival. Okay? My wife, excited is not the word. I am overwhelmed. That's why I called you. So go and prepare my daughter. She's going to be the leading contender in that show. Come prepare. Man, 
I am sorry, but my daughter will not partake in this show. She will not partake in this festival at all. I don't understand you, Ezinye. It's because you are not a good dancer that makes you to not know that my daughter is the most powerful dancer in this kingdom. Please tell me how much you need to prepare my daughter. She must participate in this very festival. Please. Now, please. They say that some of these maidens that partake in this uh, festival, that they use charms. Now, please, I don't want anyone to destroy my daughter with charms. Now, listen, Ezinne. Mkwa Uma Abogo Festival has nothing to do with charms. It is purely dancing festival. We have prepared medians dance out their hearts to the noble men of this land. Eh? Please go and prepare my daughter. You will never know when you become royalty by marriage. I, really... I am not excited with royalty. I want to remain a private woman, managing my private family. That is all I want now. Unfortunately, you are just my wife. In no more by the kingdom, wives do not have the right to make decisions for the family. I have taken my decision and it stands. So go and prepare my, 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 my daughter. She must be one of the dancing maidens that day. Please go and prepare her. Please go. Yes, right. Every maiden in this kingdom is excited about the Kwa Umabo Dase Festival, mm -hmm. but you are not. What is it? Father, Odum Iwele, the god of our land, is involved in the selection and they will select the best. I don't stand a chance. Who told you that? I know myself, Father. I'm not a wonderful dancer. Most of my friends are excited about the dance because they know all the techniques in dancing. I don't. I'm not that lucky. I'm not. Yeah, Chiwendu, you cannot defeat yourself. That is very wrong of you. Yes, I quite agree with you. Many are born dancers. But there are some that learn how to dance and they are doing well. You can learn how to dance and you dance even better than the born dancers. Don't you think so? I appreciate your advice, Father. But even if I decide to learn how to dance today, who will teach me? Um, Aboma is a lady that lived beyond the forest of Abalidem. She defied the theories of existence for three years. She was there alone, talking to no one and listening to nobody. Is this not the same Aboma that is reported to be weird? and doesn't get scared of anything or anyone. I am happy that you have, you have heard of this Aboma. I am so happy about that. So that's the one I'm talking about. If that is one of the benefits you will drive from dancing. Takes away fear, takes away shame from you. And once you are ready to learn, I will take you to her. I'll commission her to teach you, and she will teach you, and you will learn how to dance, even to attract attention from people, and you will never be the same again in this life. No, please. Papa, Mr. Papa. Let me be very sincere with you, my dear Ujumwa. You cannot cajole me with tears. That dance festival is an extension of idolatry, and my daughter cannot be part of it. That's nice. I'm sorry. But don't you think you're taking this matter too far? We are not the only Christian family in this land. Other families are encouraging their daughters. Why are you barring my daughter from doing what others are doing? My Christianity follows a pattern. It is a pattern of what is right. The pattern of the words of God as contained in the Bible. Any dance festival that does not give glory to God is certainly giving glory to Satan. And my family cannot be part of it. You understand that? But tonight, if you're scared of the money you will be asked to spend, I am begging you to leave it to me. I will provide everything required. Just please, allow Ujuma to do what other maidens are doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be again, my millionaire. Now listen, it is not about money. 
if you need money, I will give you money. That dance festival is not a Christian festival. And my family, I mean my entire family, can never be part of it. Do you understand that? <laughs> There is no man in this kingdom that can win me in that competition, Mama. Why can't Papa allow me to do what gives me joy, Mama? It's all right. It's all right. Don't give up. Oh? I will come to you some more, eh? Papa, please. <laughs> You know, Zoma, I am impressed with your commitment to training. Uh, but I believe you have room for great improvement. I know. I'm only doing the general dancing. I don't know the music they will play during the festival. Do you think it will give you an advantage if you know the music beforehand? Of course. If I know the music they will play on that day, I can comfortably tell you here that I will win the contest. Yeah, because that is done. Before the week runs out, I will find the exact music they will play during the festival and I will give you the information. Uh, but do me one favor. I want you to stop dancing with others. Why? There you are know, some music I can't possibly dance alone. Uzoma, I am talking to you because we have a deal. Maidens of this land are wonderful creatures. They are copycats. If you control dancing with them, they are going to learn your secrets and you, you are going to become basic and ordinary. I know what the prince wants. He wants a maiden that can do what other maidens are not able to do. And that is what I want you to be thinking. Stop dancing with others so that they don't copy what you are doing. Things you see. Some people will watch me dance and say I am not a human. And that is because of the steps they see. The steps come as the music plays. There is no way any maiden of this land can possibly copy my style. No matter how long I practice with them, no matter how long I dance with them. So, the rest assured I'm fine. Maidens of Umar Aleri cannot copy your step. You know how curious I could be when it comes to such things. Gozika, wait. Do you mean to tell me that you actually took the gold to Obalum, the goldsmith? Obalum confirmed to me that it's of the highest value. Hmm. <laughs> the prince loves me. <laughs> but what were you thinking? That prince Obaka would give you fake or cheap gold? My dear friend, I'm amazed. <sighs> you know what he said to me when he gave it to me? <laughs> he said, Ngazi, you deserve such gifts because you're the best. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I just hear someone call herself the best? Please, may I know the yastic upon which that judgment was made? <laughs> as in manners, as in physical beauty, as in having the best of voices, as in being the best in dance, or being too forward and easy to get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the best, right? The best, the best. Can you imagine? <sighs> this is why I hate our maidens. They love to gossip too much. What was their interest in what we were discussing? You're talking as if you didn't hear the last thing she said. What was the last thing she said? I'm not interested in whatever any fool said. Please. She said Prince Obaka has been giving gifts to other maidens too. That's a lie. 
lie. Neka, why are you listening to such lies? That's not true. Gozi, but that was what she said now. Gozi! Do you know why I did this? Just to please you. This is not the pattern of my life. I'm trying so hard to understand you. How do you mean it's not the pattern of your life? Blatant confrontations? Unfounded accusations? I mean, these are not the characters of a maiden. Excuse me. I am not just a maiden. I am a queen. And I shall continue to sort the likes of Ungozika that want to steal what belongs to me. Your mother was a noble woman. She impacted positively in the life of others. She was never wild and adventurous. And that was why they killed her. I now know better. I cannot let them cage me. May the gods help you. I know what I am saying. I do. Fine. I know I want to be the queen of this land by all means. But all that will make no meaning if the prince already has someone. Uzoma, can't you understand this? You are not even... I, 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 okay, let me... Are you talking about his betrothed that you already rejected? Are you? Who is talking about Uzoma? I am not talking about Ozuma, she's a forgotten case. I am talking about Ngozika. The news is everywhere in the village. They are already discussing it that she's the one the prince will select. I know Ngozika very well. But let me tell you something. The prince cannot select Ngozika. Let me brief you. Ngozika, we know Ngozika of Acti that is already yellow, like an albino. The prince himself is also like an albino too. Is it because you are not saying it? There is no way two of them can be married. Because they will give Abinos as children. We can't allow that. There is no way the prince will select Ngozeka. Not when he gives her gifts of gold. Ndubisi, you know what that implies. Ndubisi, people who know the value of gold were not born with the knowledge of it. They start to know its value when they start handling it. Now, this maiden, after I must have given her the gift, will know the value of gold. Thank you. What did you say? The prince gave her gold? She's all over the village posing about it. Making noise like the prince is already married to her. Uh, so it has been in Gothic of Aki after all? Uh, yes. Uh, so you know about it? No. Uh, what I know is that uh, the prince gave someone gold. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. So you know about it? Hey! Uzoma. I will see you later. Hey. Why do I have this feeling that even in Dubisi is not to be trusted? And forget about any useless sentiments or relevance attached to royalty. I am a free born, a free indigene of this kingdom, and I'm free to move anytime I want. And tonight I've come to you because we have a future together. Speak to her. Can't you open up to me? You spent the better part of the night crying. You look weak and destroyed. Gossi, what is the problem? All the promises he made to me will amount to nothing. If they proceed with this plan of getting a wife through dancing. Oh. Why would you even say that? Do you think somebody is going to scheme you out or what? There are too many things I do perfectly well. 
Benson isn't one of them. I have dreamt of a future with the prince. I, I can't even imagine myself living without him. Oh God, I can't, I can't even imagine. I, just... Don't you think you're giving up so easily? I, I have decided to learn how to dance. But I haven't seen someone who would teach me. I, I really don't know what to do, in all honesty. I don't. Ngozi, you dance better than most maidens in this village that still believe they could make an impact on that day. Neka. We're not talking about making an impact. I'm talking about winning the prince. Only one winner is going to emerge that day. And she would be crowned the queen on the spot. I want to be that maiden. I want to be the maiden. You're going insane, truly. You're going insane, yes. Which I'm still waiting for an answer. Tell me what you want me to pay you to groom my daughter for me. My daughter is the one I want to be selected after the festival. Are you aware that I'm the one that is in charge of the maiden? That was betrayed to the prince? Of course I know. That is why I'm here. I had wanted to travel to Mudora to meet Aboma. But I said no, it's not necessary. Let me come here. And Tell me what you want me to pay you, so that by tomorrow I will bring my daughter to you. I want you to train her, teach her all the secrets of seduction. Sincerely, I cannot do what you're asking me to do. Why? Uche, I have not come to you to do this job free. I am willing to pay you. Name your price. Some people do not put their two hands in their mouth at the same time. It is one after the other. Um, I cannot say that I understand the relevance of this adage to the matter under discussion. Except to train my daughter, teach her the secrets of seduction, I will pay you handsomely. Oziyama is still under my tutelage, and I'm still highly committed to her services. I must tell you, it is not yet over until it is over. Uche. If I were you, I would name my price and concentrate on new people. The prince is no longer interested in your student. That is why he approved this festival. I said to teach my daughter the secrets of seduction and he will not have any reason to look somewhere else. Ozioma remains the most brilliant maiden I have ever encountered. When you look into her face, you will see a lady with a future. She knows she has a future. And she has already told me that she will marry the best. I have decided to keep training her until she finds her best. Take your daughter to her mama. She knows the act of sedation more than me. <laughs> I can see that you don't want to play double standard. Well, it's a plus to you. I'm impressed. I'm sorry, Ndubisi. I don't understand you at all. My prince, you are the ultimate judge in this coming festival. There is nothing doubt at all. I agree completely. But I want you to understand that I am your personal assistant. And I am part and parcel of this festival. We cannot afford to make mistakes. Ndubisi, who says we are making mistakes? My prince. Yes? I want us to make a decision now on the exact kind of music we shall be playing on the day. And why? Because it is important for us to make that decision. In fact, I want us to use for the music. During the festival. Uh, one more question, Father. Um, 
during this festival, what kind of music will the medias dance to? They dance to a normal Ibuakunichenye. During the festival, humans do not dictate to the band the kind of music they play for the maidens. They play as they are led by the spirit of the dance. The maidens dance as they are led by the spirit of the dance. And spectators watch as they are led by the spirit of the dance. The truth is that though the festival is a physical thing, it is a spiritual competition. Go ahead and choose the best maiden dancer as wife. But do not double into the music that the band plays. Ndubisi, can you give me one reason? One reason. One reason, Ndubisi, we should change the music we are used to. Give me one reason. My prince, the reason is very simple. Because I want the kind of music that we'll be playing that day that will make it easy for you to select the best. And the foreign music I am talking about that I want to bring from Onicha is the music that comes to mind. Let me see. I want this competition to be different, okay? I want this particular competition to be, you know, shrouded in mystery. Yes. What do you mean by shrouded in mystery? We might not even use a bar on the change that day. Thank you very much. Yes. That means I cannot go to on the shadow and bring the music here. I'm, 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 I'm going to be seeing before you continue making your assumptions. Let me repeat the words of my father, the king. Humans do not dictate to the band what they should play for the maidens. They play as they are led by the spirit of the dance. The maidens dance as they are led by the spirit of the dance. The spectators watch as they are led by the spirit of the dance. Though this festival is a physical thing, it is spiritual. So if you understand what I am saying in Dubisi, you will not contest whatever music we use or what ways the, the maidens will dance. My priest, I am not contesting what you are talking about now, but you are trying to make this thing to become very spiritual. My priest, are you going to marry a spirit? You are going to marry a physical human being. It is a physical event. You are talking about your wife, not a spirit. I want us to go to a shadow and bring this refined music. Because you told me before that you want to marry a refined wife. That is why this music is important, my friends. Any maiden of this land that can dance refined music is a refined woman. That is why we have to go to the child, my friends. Please. Forget. Ibakunete is very local for this event. They should not be considered at all. Any other music. This is what your personal assistant is saying. And you should be able to consider it. Have you looked into the eyes of the prince? I wonder why you want me to look into his eyes. He is a prince, and we must be careful how we look at him. See, what I can get from that is that you allow the nature of our job to prevent you from seeing what is obvious. I don't get it. What is obvious? Like what? The prince is lost in after us. Oh, please, don't be ridiculous. How could you say a thing like that? Losting after us. For what? Do you know you amaze me? Yes, you amaze me when you consistently talk like a child. The prince is losting after us, and something tells me he can keep a secret. What are you planning? See, you know the prince is very shy to take two of us together. That is why he gave the option of, of taking one maiden today and the other one tomorrow. What are you implying? I want to seduce the prince. Are you out of your mind? Do you want them to label you a strange woman in this kingdom? How could you say a thing like that? See, I've grown enough not to bother about what anybody says about me. I do what I like. The prince has expressed his lust already. We can beat the maidens and reduce the contest to two of us. After all, I won't be disappointed if he gets married to you. And I know you will not be disappointed if he gets married to me. Do you know the repercussion of seducing the prince of Omo Bareli Kingdom? Hmm. 
say all restrictions we are made so that maidens will be hopeless and i will not allow myself to be hopeless i will not you sure sound as if you have already perfected your plan to seduce the prince hmm. i looked into the eyes of the prince and i can see that he cannot resist the maidens we may even decide to show him new pictures. Yes. Have you ever bothered to ask yourself what will happen if the effort got resisted? And Madame Ojugo hears that efforts we are made to seduce the prince? I will not want us to consider the possibility of failures because I've never failed before. The only resistance is intubacy. And I can tell you right away that any woman can seduce him. Just any woman. Think about it. I know I will not be disappointed if he marries you. And you will not be disappointed if he marries me too. Hmm? I came here to extract just to one promise from you. If for any reason the prince decides to come back to you, will you accept him as your husband? I don't know if I will accept the prince back or not. But if I'm faced with such a situation, I'll do as my spirit directs. Tomorrow, we are going back to full training. A dancing festival has been fixed. And the prince himself is going to be the decision maker. Is going to choose the best dancer among the maidens. And that maiden will be crowned the queen. Promise me you'll be available tomorrow for the training. <laughs> Dauche, why do you still bother yourself on account of the prince? I already told you that I had a dream where I got married to the best. And I know it will happen someday. In my dream, Prince Obaka of Umo Baleri Kingdom was certainly not the ever smiling wonderful man I saw. No. The line between dream and reality is too tiny that most times people do not know the end of one and the beginning of the other. Do not allow that dream to bother you. Don't allow that dream to confuse you. Because it could mean nothing. Tomorrow, we are going back to dream. <laughs> Neka, Neka, leave me alone. What Just is wrong with you? Eh? What? Why are you always speaking on her? What is your problem? Come. Why has she decided to start associating herself with us? Why? I thought she was an egg waiting to hatch. What's wrong? If you watch your mouth, it would do you a world of good. I shall sure will, my queen. Ngozi, Ngozi, if you would take my advice, leave that girl alone. Leave her alone. No. Hi. Do her a favor and tell her to stay far away from me. Far, far away from me. Her moment of glory is over. 
And it's high time she started realizing that. I'm not angry. I mean, why do I have to be angry over somebody who is obviously insecure? I, I do understand it. Why is Ngozi like that? The question should be, why does she feel extremely insecure whenever she sees me? <laughs> it's obvious. It's obvious. Because you carry yourself well. Yes. And people respect you for that. I think that's why she's changed. Yes. <laughs> Always. And it's beginning to get on my nerves. Speaking on you? So how long have you been going to the moonlight play? Since you told me about the change in plans. No! Why would you? And why wouldn't I? I missed out on a lot during all the time I wasted grooming myself for the prince. Now that you've gone, have you seen the outcome? Have you? They think they are better than me. They think I am a loser. They think having been apart from them makes me less qualified than they are. And you know all that are not true. You don't have to let what they think change the truth you already know. If going to play with them makes you doubt that, then stop. Never. I will never be such a coward. Never. If you ask me, it's not an act of cowardice. You have to prove to them that you are better than this. You have to prove to them that you did not spend all these years training for nothing. You are better than that. So, what am I supposed to be doing with myself now? To sit at home all day and all night? Don't worry. I will figure out how to keep you busy. But listen to me, Uzioma. True, you were trained to be the prince's wife. But you must understand that that training is supposed to guide you for life. Queen or no queen, do not let anything take away your values from you, okay? Why would you do that, Ngozi? Why? I mean, you should live by example. Why? My prince, she carries herself like she's better off than every other person. Even with that? Even with that, Ngozi? Besides, my informant told me that she didn't do anything to warrant such insults. That Uzioma did nothing to warrant such side comments from you. I'm sorry, my prince. Oh, you should live by example. You should live by example. And people should be able to say good things about the queen. And not the other way around. You don't know how I feel when you call me your future queen. But that is what you are. You should comport yourself as such. I promise. What are you still doing here? Are you not going? They decided to start the festival without informing me, Ukulu. I smile. They've not even deemed it necessary to approach me as one of their judges. I'm looking at them. I will attend. I and my men, we shall attend the festival. We shall attend as unofficial judges. And whoever we didn't pass, we never pass the examination. Listen to me, Okolo. There are lots of things waiting for me to do. I will leave you and get busy. If you don't have anything tangible to say to me. Boma, are you saying this to get me angry? Are you saying this to make me look ordinary? Look, everybody in this kingdom avoids and fear you. Because they say you are evil. I am the only one who comes to you. Oh, I think I still remain the only one who has summoned the courage to, to play with you as a woman. Why are you asking me to leave? I have seen it already. Tomorrow is going to be very hectic. Hmm? So, I will leave you. I want you to go. So I can go and rest. Mama, something tells me there is a man inside waiting for me to leave. Don't you insult me. Mama, my dear. I've not insulted you. But that idiot inside, he must leave or both of us will remain here and continue discussing until dawn. Do you think I have your time? Eokolo, if you don't want to leave, remain here. The simple truth is that I don't have time for your drama. 
I worked really hard today. And I need to rest my bones now. Mama, you want to rest your bones? Beautiful. We'll go in together and rest our bones together. Ukoli, let me make something clear to you. You will never ever sleep on my bed again. Mama, why? Ukoli, I am now a new woman. I am getting older, so I am doing everything possible to redefine my life. I know you must have enjoyed it while it lasted. It is over. Oma, the more you open this your mouth, the more it shows to me there is actually an idiot waiting for you. I will leave as he is instructed. But before I leave, I want to go in there and see the idiot myself. I want to greet him and have a handshake with him. Why are you talking endlessly like someone who doesn't have a brain? Ukolo, there is nobody in this house! Then let me go in there and see for myself. I will never believe you until I see for myself. What's going on here? I, I was in a dream eh? where, where I saw a, 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 a cobra about to strike the prince. It was an old cobra and a bite from that kind of cobra could lead to his death. So, so we ran up here to check if the, if the prince is, is okay. Yes, she's right. Am she's I not right. saying this? Yes, she's saying it. You saw a cobra? Yes. Big one. About to kill the prince. And you came to kill the cobra. Where is the stick? Where is the cutlass with which you came to kill the cobra? You came to kill cobra with loose wrapper tied around your chest and you are telling me. You are not up to something. How am I sure there is something you are wearing down there? No, how am I sure? You see, we don't know what you are talking about. All we are here for is for you to confirm to us if the prince is okay. If it's okay, let's just go back to our room. Okay, let's go inside. Come, put up the phone. Since you are not bothered about the prince, that means the prince is okay. Yes, we will see you tomorrow. Okay. What are they up to? Azuka, have you seen what you have got? This will be the very last time I will listen to you in this palace. Okay, fine. Let me tell you something. If I finally get the prince to be mine, don't be jealous of I don't know why I listened to you in the first place. Azuka, what are you up to? What is your problem? And why don't you want to believe in the dream? Do you know what? Do me a favor. Stand here and wait for me. There is something important I want to show you. Don't go anywhere. Out of my banana. Get me back. I want you to swear on this offer that you saw a cobra. In fact, I want you to swear that you had a dream. Swear. Please, I want to ask. 
You don't want to swear. You want to go back to sleep. What are these girls up to in this palace this time? What is the meaning of this? Hey! This was the author. He asked me to swear on last night. What is he doing here? You mean you have already seen this sham with someone already? Who is the person? She had a dream last night where an old cobra wanted to kill the prince. And you rushed to see if the prince was okay. I want you to swear on this offer that you weren't lying when you said that. See, I don't get it. Apart from who's only here, who slept with me last night, you are the first person I'm seeing today. So what do you mean by I, I should swear? <laughs> Can you tell me the reason behind that deadly move you made last night? I've already told you what happened and why we went there. Now, if this is not acceptable to you, then you can believe whatever you want. Now listen to me, let me tell you something. I am an authority in this palace. And once I decide to unmask anything, definitely I must unmask that. People who elect to hide things from me are wasting their time. Because you can never hide anything from me. There was a deadly movement in this palace last night. And let me tell you to my face, I am going to get to the end of Hey, 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 don't go and tell Prince things because nothing happened. This is surely the last time you'll be sleeping here. If you leave, don't come back. The problem you have is that you think you can dismiss me and introduce another man into your heart. You forgot I have built the house inside your heart. It is not possible for me to leave. Or not possible. I have other businesses to attend to. I will see you later this night. I will not have anything to tell you until you bring your cursed body back to this house. These are the reasons why some people in this community say that you're tough, wicked and evil. You talk as though you could do anything. I am the only one who knows you and you cannot scare me away. You are just a woman, like every other good woman in this community. I will see you later this night. People fear me for nothing, while I am just an ordinary woman, fighting for her rights. Aboma. What shall we say to her when we get there? Aboma, she appears to me like someone that could solve our problem. So let's go. Why would they run when they see me? Why do people associate me with evil?
beginning of this. Hey! This was the offer he asked me to swear on last night. What is he doing here? You mean you have already seen this sham with someone already? Who is the person? She had a dream last night where an old cobra wanted to kill the prince. And you rushed to see if the prince was okay. I want you to swear on this offer that you weren't lying when you said that. I don't get it. Apart from Uzoni, who slept with me last night, you are the first person I'm seeing today. So what do you mean by I, I should swear? <laughs> Can you tell me the reason behind that deadly move you made last night? I've already told you what happened and why we went there. Now, if this is not acceptable to you, then you can believe whatever you want. Now listen to me, let me tell you something. I am an authority in this palace. And once I decide to unmask anything, definitely I must unmask that thing. People who elect to hide things from me are wasting their time. Because you can never hide anything from me. There was a deadly movement in this palace last night. And let me tell you to your face, I am going to get to the bottom of it. Hey, 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 don't go and tell Prince things, because nothing happened. Aboma, to be sincere with you, I want my daughter to win the contest. I want her to become the next queen. That is why I'm here with her. What makes you think I would want to teach any maiden? My dance steps. Aboma, we are not going to die with our dance steps. We all know that you're a powerful dancer. And you can make any maiden to dance well as well. That's why I'm here with her. Have you ever experienced the spirit of dance before? Aboma. She has already defeated herself by saying that she's not a wonderful dancer. But I know what you can do in the life of any medium. You can turn her to anything. That's why I'm here with her. I want you to memorize a song of your choice. Dance to it. In a way that I can be convinced. <laughs> you have something to improve upon. The floor is yours. When it came out, Baba. up your senses and make you alert for the challenge you shall face for today. So, why are you now insisting that we must not dance? Uh, I haven't uh, insisted that you shouldn't dance, but I want to, you know, give you our comment by saying that uh, you two have been very wonderful. I am very, very glad you are the main dancer assigned to entertain me and yes. yes. A beautiful maiden just came into this palace to see you. And from the way she sounded, it's all joint and left. And left. Left now. Tell her to come in. Both of you are just sent for you when I need you. Leave.
Greetings, uh, so what can I do for you? What side are you making? What nonsense side are you making? What does it mean? My prince, I came to tell you something about Sankosa. Should I go ahead? Of course, um, go ahead. I'm, 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 uh, what she has come to tell me, I think, is very uh, confidential. Okay, so that can be excuse I can't believe you just said that, my prince. You want me to leave you alone with this thing? This one? Do you see? Don't annoy me. Huh? I said she has come to tell me something about Ngozi and it's confidential. Just for my ears alone. So please excuse me. Now. She, 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 she okay. Is everything okay? Yes, my prince. She's okay. She's not just comfortable with the coming festival. Why? My prince. Because he's not a wonderful dancer. And she has this feeling that she will lose out if the contest holds. So she sent you to tell me to cancel it? On the contrary, my prince, I came on my own. My friend told me that you profess love to her and she believes in you. She has already given you her heart. She only needs a word of commitment from you. What kind of word? My prince, she wants you to tell her that if or not she wins, you declare her the winner and make her your queen. Ah, but that is not possible. It's not done that way. Apart from my very self being there as a judge, uh, there will be other official judges and unofficial judges too. So I cannot ridicule myself in front of the whole kingdom and pronounce her as the winner when she didn't actually win. It's not possible. My prince, it seems you don't understand what I'm talking about. My prince, Uncle Zee will die if she fails to win. Hey, 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 hey. Prince Ubak has spoken like a man in authority, like a warrior, like a true son of the father that he is, like a mass warrior. Now I want you to go back to whoever that sent you and tell him or her that the festival is going to hold as planned. Maidens are going to dance and we are going to make a selection. Let her do what others are doing. See my position. I'm sorry, Ndubisi, but this is a private meeting with the prince. Don't force me to go and tell us you go that we came here to seduce the prince. Ndubisi, shut up. Don't shut up. She only came here to express an opinion. She didn't try to seduce me or she try anything it's funny. Okay? She didn't seduce me in any way. My prince, this lady here came in with the worst kind of seduction because she was trying to seduce your conscience with well tailored words and you were almost falling victim. Permit me, my prince, to throw this thing out of this palace now. Why would you send her with such a message? My prince, I did not. She must have come to you on her own. No, 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 I don't believe that. No. My prince. Yes. Neka is my very good friend. I'm sure she felt my worries and came to you. This is your particular worry. How do we handle it? My prince. Yes. There are too many things I can do very well. Dancing isn't amongst them. I'm not a good dancer. I cannot dance. Not for a competition even. Those were Neka's exact words. But the issue is that what are we going to do about it? How do we handle it? <laughs> there should be another way of determining. There's no other way. No other way. The whole kingdom has decided. My prince, you will be the only judge. Just declare me the winner even if I don't dance very well. Ngozi. That also is impossible. It's impossible. Yes, I am going to be the only judge. Yes. But have you forgotten other people will be there? I don't want to appear biased. My prince. You are the one who told me never to worry about what people say or think. Yes, yes. But this particular case is different. We just have to do something about this. We have to do something. You have to. That is. Try. Try and I mean, improve your dancing skills. Try. You just have to do that. You just have to try. That, that, that's the only thing. You just have to. You have to. You have to. Please, Indubisi. I <laughs> want you to tell me the whole truth. Did it really happen? Come on. Were you thinking I would come all the way from the palace to say something that never happened? 
I am telling you what happened in the palace. Her friend came to plead on her behalf, and for the very first time in a long time, the prince impressed me with his response. This is the part I want to hear. What did he say? The writing, of course. He told her that there is only one way. She has to go and learn how to dance. Dance well and convince everybody or she's out of the race. Wow! Wow! This is good news. This means that we have two, two trees out, out of, of the way. way. <laughs> Thank you so much. I noticed how scared you were the other time, you know, concerning her supposed closeness to the prince. I, 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 know, I know you were you were getting scared. I kept to tell you what is happening, you know. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> hmm? Oh, this is good news. You know, we know how good you are when it comes to dancing. And now you have the one that is walking very close to the prince, walking in the palace, walking for you. I don't need to tell you how close you are to being the queen. Oh, God! I'm so happy! Adal Mohaka. Thank you! Adal Mohaka, do Thank you! I don't know what they are planning to do. But from what I was told about Umpo Mabo Festival, maidens do not dance singles, they dance in groups. Mainly in a file. Spectators will be watching when they are dancing. I, I think they are planning to organize a festival where the maidens will be dancing in single. Then it is no longer Mpumawa festival. And someone like me will challenge the throne for going against the custom and traditions of our land. Aboma. This meeting is digressing a little and I'm not comfortable. We are being political. I don't want to be involved in the politics of this land. I just made a point. Forget about the negative impressions formed by her people about me. I like doing the proper thing. Aboma, my question is, are you going to teach my daughter your unique steps that made you the renowned dancer in the land? I don't like asking maidens if they are still virgins. I work with the spirit of dance. As long as you are under my tutelage, you have no reason to allow any man enjoy the woman in you. So if you are ready to do this, we can start tonight. She has no choice. She will be at dusk. an unbiased judge. The reason I want you to teach her. Yes. So that when I declare her uh, the best, uh, nobody will complain. They will say she's simply the best. Oh, I see. My friends. Yes. I see it as a great honor that you have pushed me to teach your maiden. But my prince, the truth remains that if you want the best, from that your maiden, you must take her to the best. Then who else do you call the best? My prince, they call her evil. They say she's weird. Others say she's brutal. But the truth remains that amongst all the women born in Omo Palieri, she remains the best dancer. And if there is anyone that can teach your maiden, she is the one. Who is she? Her name is Aboma. For three years, she has lived beyond the forest of Obalidem. She is the best dancer. She didn't buy or sell to anybody. She has been there, whining and dining with the spirits. My prince, Aboma has highly become spiritual. And I trust her, she will teach your maiden what I don't even know. UWC once mentioned an Aboma who teaches seduction. Yes, she is the one. I'm happy you know her. 
she can seduce any man. And there is no man that can resist any maiden she trained. She is the best. Now, Ojibu, I am looking for someone to teach my maiden dance steps and not seduction. My prince, feminine dance is 100% seduction. If a lady is dancing and she is unable to trigger the sexual urge of her male spectators, it could be said that the lady does not know how to dance. Take your maiden to her bomba. She will teach her how to seduce the crowd. And that alone will fetch her the crown on that day. It's alright, I'll, I'll get back to you. One more thing, my friends. Use the crowd with your steps. You know, but I'm, I'm not going to be part of the festival. Honestly, I'm just learning this dancing step to make myself happy. Did I hear you correctly? Yeah. That you won't be part of this festival. Why? My dear, my father said the festival is an extension of idolatry. And he insisted that I will not participate. What will I do? And you agreed not to participate in the festival just like that? What do you want me to do? Argue with my father. No way. I am learning these dancing steps to make myself happy. Please. You know I love dancing. Teach me. <laughs> Would you? I don't know what you're saying, but I know you're going to be part of this festival. <laughs> Should not be allowed to participate in the festival. Why? Amanze, you are not just the leader of the royal band. To the best of my knowledge, you are the leader of practically all the bands we have in this land. I came to you and I asked a very simple question. What music shall you be playing during the coming of Mabogo festival? Why are you breathing as if you don't want to answer that question? You see, I'm not surprised at your question. But at first I wanted to play mute and not answer you. But I will forgive your ignorance because you do not know music and you don't know how the spirit of music works. I must say, must you smuggle spirit into everything? This is a physical thing we are talking about here. What music shall you be playing during the coming Nkwa Uma Bogo festival? That is the question. One thing you don't understand is that once the band gathers on that very day, everything becomes spiritual. We surrender ourselves totally to the spirit of music and allow the spirit to direct us. Even intelligent maidens 
also surrender themselves to the spirit of dance. And every maiden that does that always leave the stage with smiles on their faces and fulfillment. What are you trying to do? Do you think I will live here without that information? Do you? <laughs> I am surprised that a man that works in the palace do not know our tradition. Is that an insult or what? No, it's not. I want you to understand something. That the ways of the gods is not the ways of man. That's why it is said that the private part of an old man is not a plain thing to a cry child. Once we arrive on that very day, we don't even have a slight idea on what we might likely play. We just allow the spirits to direct us. One thing you must know is that even the king do not dabble in what we play. When did this one start? You want me to go wash your clothes? For what? Akalowa, listen to me. Ikedi is already in my black book in this palace for undermining my authorities. Do not go into my black book too. In another one. Ubi, have you forgotten that you're a guard like me? Why are you send me on errands? Listen to me. Because I'm a different kind of guard entirely. I am arranging for a wife for the prince who will come into this palace as the next queen. If you continue to see me as a guard like you, someone who is in the same level with you, hi, then I will tell her when she enters here that you are an idiot. And your own will be finished. Go and watch this club, my friend. And that, 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 that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Me to go to the stream. Where's Indubisi? Can somebody please just tell me where Indubisi is? He cannot leave the palace without telling me. So please just tell me the truth. Where is Indubisi? My prince. Yes? God forbid we ever stand before you and lie. We don't know his actual location. Okay. When he comes back, tell him he has to see me immediately. Okay? If you see him around, tell him he has to see me immediately. Because he has to take me to Aboma. That's it. My prince, we only know one Aboma in this kingdom. And she's heard that evil. I don't know if she's the one you're talking about. And is that why you're wearing that look? Yes, I'm looking for a woman. The one who they say has the power of seduction. The one who has the power to seduce anybody. My prince, I'm sorry. Why are you looking for her? Have we not been doing enough? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by, by are you not doing enough? Apart from dancing for me for entertainment, is there any other thing you're doing for me? Any other thing without my knowledge? What do you mean by that? Is there nothing I do with you? My prince, what's going on here? Why are you looking this tattoo? My prince here wants you to take him to Aboma. And we are here trying to tell him that Aboma is not a good woman. My prince, what are you doing with Aboma? Both of you may leave now. Hey, Abom Mama. What is the prince doing with Abom Mama? Hmm. I can't understand. Hey. Seriously, hey. I am very, very worried. Hey. My prince. Abom Mama. Let me see. Let's sit down. It has happened to me countless number of times. I've always believed that it must be a trance. But now it is clear to me that I'm having a revelation. That is why I came. Ukolo, you are a loafer known by all. I'm wondering what kind of revelation you had that could move someone like me. 
If you go around this kingdom, you will see maidens dancing at their hearts. The aim is simply to become the next queen. I've been having this revelation. And in that revelation, I'm seeing your daughter, Ujunwa, sitting next to the prince as our queen. I came to ask you, why is Ujunwa not practicing like other maidens? Is she the one that sent you to me? You can vouch for me that I'm not a man of maidens. I'm a man among men. I simply came to ask you this question. Why is Ujunwa our future queen, not practicing like other maidens? I don't know the kind of revelation you said you have. That, could, that gives you the impression that Ujunwa could be the next queen. What I am saying is that my daughter will never be part of pagan festival. It is not a pagan festival. It is strictly a dancing festival before our king abolished it hundred years ago. Even the colonial priests were part of it. If you refuse Ujunwa from participating in the festival that will make her the next queen, a wrong queen will be unleashed in this kingdom and posterity will hold you for it. Ukolo, come back here and explain what you made. I have delivered my message. Deny her and face the consequences. I am delighted having the prince in my house. I am going to do as you desire. But first, I want you to tell me how you want the maidens to dance during the festival. Uh, thank you. And uh, now, uh, uh, see, how do you think they should dance? In the maidens, they will dance like maidens and we will select the best. Uh, you see, the truth is that we haven't decided on how they will dance. We consider you as authority in this particular issue. So please advise us on how you think the maidens should dance. The age-long tradition of our people is that the maidens will dance at once in what we call a good. We will continue to reduce the number until we have the four best dancers. The four dancers represent the spirit of our four market days in Ibo Land. Okay, okay, okay. Until the number is further reduced to two, representing man and woman. It is from the two that you choose the queen. Is this what you're planning or? Have you adopted another pattern entirely? No, 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 no. You see, we haven't adopted any pattern at all. We haven't. Uh, 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 and as such, I, I think we'll consider adopting this your particular pattern. Yes, uh, uh, since it's an age-long tradition. Um, um, so, uh, in other words, uh, I also think we might also consider you part of the jury. Yes, yes. I have already volunteered to teach the maidens. Let another take the jury. Ojugo, who works at the palace, can make an excellent jury. Lucy, what do you think? What do you say to that? Aboma says something that I didn't understand. I have to understand her first before I discuss who is in the jury and who is not. Do we see? What did she say? Abomba said she volunteered to teach other maidens. Yes. It means simply that Abomba is already occupied with other maidens. Definitely. But that is not a problem. Apart from your maiden that you're sending down to me from Akihi village, I have other maidens I'll be teaching. The festival that you reincarnated is about the best thing that so far came from your father. And you must leave the experts to do the right thing. But ma'am, I thank you for the um, accolade. Thank you. But um, this is my question to you directly. Because my maiden who has accepted doesn't know how to dance. Stand a chance amongst those wild maidens from my kingdom. That is where the seduction comes in. I will teach all the maidens how to dance. And then I will teach your maiden how to seduce and intimidate the crowd. Very good. If she practices what I'll teach, she will be the only one the crowd will see in the midst of other maidens. Uh, my prince, please. 
let us take to our side now as in now very important how they come back yeah To Nanyojugo, and you spent the whole day telling her about this music of Aki. Now we're here before Abuma, and you're telling her about the same maiden. I called you aside because my displeasure has reached the very zenith, it's about to burst. And I, I, I don't want us to make further moves on this girl. Please, do see. Is this why you called me out? My prince, you are bringing your exalted position to ridicule. You are supposed to be an unbiased judge. Please, why are you giving everybody the impression that Ngozika of Aki is the only one you want around you as, as the queen? Because she's the only one I want. She's the only one I want beside me as queen. Yes? I'm only here to engage in the services of an expert to teach her the art of seduction. That's it, simple. My prince, can't you understand this thing that I'm explaining understand to you? Understand what, see? The maiden that I brought to you doesn't need anybody to teach her the art of seduction because she knows too much already. Why can't you look at her one more time and you are going to discover you don't need Ngozi of Aki that people are teaching anything. Ngibisi, I know what I saw in Ngozi that I do not see in your Zoma. So please, I know what I want, okay? And please, 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 no further distractions from you. Please, Ngibisi, please. <sighs> was the time out all about me? Uh, no, 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 no. It wasn't all about you. Uh, not about you at all. You see, uh, um, Ndubisi here has a girl he's been trying to impose on me. And I have told Ndubisi time without number, time and time again, I don't like the girl, but Ndubisi will not listen. When are you bringing the girl to me? Um, I, I will not bring her to you. Okay, I want you to send for her. I don't want her to know I'm involved in this. In that case, brief the town crier to move around and announce that I am going to be the one training the maidens okay. for the festival. Okay. Okay. When they all come, yes. I will single her out okay. and plant the magic on her. Good. Beautiful idea. Beautiful. Huh? Beautiful. My prince, there is nothing beautiful in this idea. Abuma is planning to make you pay for her services. Whatever. Well, I don't care how much she's asking for me to pay. What are we looking at, Abuma? The festival is a spiritual one. The band plays as they are led by the spirits. The maidens dance as the spirit leads. The spectators watch as the spirit leads. I want to train as the spirit leads me and the throne will pay me as they are led. Intelligent. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Perfect. When you get home today, you'll be surprised your father will ask you to join other maidens and prepare for the competition. You will satisfy your quest. And you will go find the competition buff. You must make me a promise. How did you get to know that I've not been training with other maidens? My name is Sukolo. There's nothing that goes on in this kingdom that I'm not aware of. I spoke with your father and he's now willing to allow you to prepare like every other maiden. Eh? That's awesome. So what do you want me to promise? I and my friend will be unofficial judges at the competition. I will personally use my power to make sure that you're recognized. But you must promise me that when you hit the limelight, I, Ukolo, will not be forgotten. Ukolo, I am not one of the maidens that forgets people easily. I am not going to forget you. I promise. The important thing here is for me to get to the limelight first. I will not forget you. My house is the last house you see before you enter Abagana. When you have a go-ahead from your father, meet me at home and I will take you to where you'll be coached. I had wanted to support your friend, uh, Uzoma, but I changed my mind. Why did you change your mind? Reasons personal to me. Go home and meet with your father. When you're through, meet me at home, I will take you to where you'll be coached. 
When do you want me to come? You can come anytime. I'm excited you're lending your support. Thank you so much. Go home. When you have a go ahead from your father, meet me and we'll sit down and plan properly. Thank you. Ike, Your Majesty. I don't know what you think, but I think this idea of a festival is wonderful. <laughs> Every family in the land is electrified, and for the first time in years, our maidens are very, very happy. Uh, well, well, Your Majesty, I spoke with some women, mm. and they all said in one voice that this festival is strictly for maidens. <laughs> I don't know if you share their views, Your Majesty. Ike. Your Majesty. The festival is for my son to select a maiden as wife. Once he does that, others can choose their own wives. It's purely their business. But what if there is chaos? We must trust them to manage chaos. I have made inquiries. My son is planning well. I like trusting people. Give them the responsibility to organize the first Unkwa Mawogo festival in a hundred years. We shall grace the occasion, no doubt, but we must also trust them to organize it. Uh, Mana, the information all over, Your Majesty, is that uh, uh, once our prince picks a maiden, mm. the maiden will be crowned a queen on the spot. Who made that pronouncement? You, Your Majesty? Oh, yes. I made the pronouncement myself. The maiden that shall be selected by my son shall be crowned queen in waiting immediately. He promised to give me information about the very music that will be played on that day. Up till now, I haven't heard a word from you. I wonder how you still want me to outshine others. Uzoma. The process has become spiritual, and that is why I am here. Spiritual? How do you mean spiritual? I cornered the prince. For him to give me approval to travel to Onishadu and engage the services of Ndegua party. For them to come and play on that day. Because I am convinced that if Ndegua party are playing that day, I will be able to manipulate the process. But the prince refused to give the approval. Saying that our local musicians must be the one playing that day. Now I went to Amanze, who is the leader of all the bands here in Omo Balere, for him to tell me the music they are going to be playing that day. And he said he doesn't even know what they are going to be playing. Because they play as the spirit leads them. I made further inquiries and I discovered that nobody should even double into what the musicians are playing in the first place. That's why I say it's, it's, it's spiritual. Well, if that is the case, I would ask you not to bother yourself. As long as the music is something one can dance to, I promise you, I will do my very best. Uzoma, there is another twist to this. And now I want you to do what other maidens are doing. What are they doing? Maidens are not coming out that day simply to dance. They are coming out to seduce the prince because seduction has been made an integral part of the festival. Therefore, I want you to go to Aboma. Let her teach you all that she knows about the art of seduction. Aboma of all people? Why in this world should I go to her? Because I want you to win this contest and be the queen of Umo Baleri. I, I agree that you have something inside of you. I want you to go to Aboma. Learn all that she knows about seduction. Add whatever thing you have learned from Abama to what you have already, and I believe you are going to humble the maidens of this land. <laughs> I never knew to get to this. Now you want me to go and meet Abama, someone I don't even like. 
You want me to go and meet her so she would teach me? Forget about your personal opinion about Aboma. Forget it. You understand that you're not doing this thing for Aboma, you're doing this for yourself. Aboma is the person you did now to teach you the talent you need to emerge as the queen. I want you to think about it. Look at even Aboma. Forget the opinion we form about her, the mystery surrounding Aboma. Look deeply and you will discover that Aboma we are talking about is a beautiful woman of this land. With her own personal emotions. Go to Aboma and learn something that will make you queen. Please. when you want to be seen. If you decide not to be seen, people cannot see you. Too many people dance these days simply to exercise their bodies in some places. Dancing is a part of sports. But I will tell you today, dancing is not sports. The primary aim of dancing is to send signals and draw attention. That is our dance. To send signals and draw attention. If you enter any place to do anything, you may not be seen. Go to that same spot and dance and all eyes will be on you. As the festival is approaching, I want you all maybe to learn one thing. I want maidens to learn how to conquer their hearts. I don't understand what you mean by conquer our hearts. Their hearts. The climax of seduction is when you throw your heart to your victim and he catches it. That is it. This is Aboma, the best dancer of Omak Baleri, and the one who has volunteered to teach our maidens. You may join them and learn the dance. As I was saying, seduction is when you throw your heart to your victim and he catches it. <laughs> you are in trouble when you throw your heart to your victim and he didn't catch it you will be buried in sorrow and shame so many women who got themselves in that scenario didn't recover it i want maidens to learn how to throw their hearts perfectly but first you have to learn how to conquer the heart and faces of your victim there are too many things you are teaching us all at once. We may not master all these techniques before the festival. You have all the time it takes to make an impact. Start something again.
Okolo. Why are you daring me in this kingdom? Did I commit any offense knowing you? Where did I go wrong? Where have I gone wrong? I brought a maiden who wants to learn the dance from you. Did I do anything wrong? How did you get to know that I am here? Listen, Aboma. My name is Ukolo. A core man of this kingdom that has the interest of this land at heart. I am a great man that people regard to us as a loafer. I don't want to go into all that. Loafer Ball Festival is announced and I am deeply involved. I am very disappointed in you. Are you telling me that you prefer the advice of a busybody over that of your wife? Are you not reading unnecessary meaning into this matter? He did not give me any advice. He gave me a revelation that our daughter will be granted queen. I decided not to be unnecessarily wicked and prevent our daughter from pursuing what could be her possible destiny. Do you know what you just made me believe? You are not a man of your way. More. And I'm not impressed at all. Eh? Obiageli, that is an insult and I'm not taking this from you. I'm sorry, but you gave me the reason to talk that way. Eh? You told me you came from lineage of kings. Yes. But you're not behaving like one. Who is Ukolo in this kingdom to tell you that he has a revelation or a vision for, for you concerning our daughter? How are you sure he has not created lies just to have access to our daughter? <laughs> you sound as if you don't trust our girl. I trust her absolutely. And she cannot, I repeat, she cannot do anything stupid. Papa, Mama. where are you coming from? Yeah, yeah, Mama. <laughs> Come here. Um, I'm, I'm coming from Omodora. He took me to the lady that is training other maidens. We have been dancing all day. And where is Ukolo now? I left him there. I came back with other maidens. My love, you look brighter today. I mean, the last time I saw you, you were quite saddened. I have no doubt the gods are with us. <laughs> My love is talking. Please tell me more. First, we found love with each other. Okay. And this, this dance thing wanted to be an issue. Mm -hmm. And then came Agboma. The one and only Agboma asked me to join her in training. <laughs> My prince, it still amazes me. My love, I cannot agree with you less. The gods are with us. Now, please, make use of this opportunity. Use this opportunity and learn everything you can. Please. Are you telling me? My prince, you should see me dance now. Do you want me to no, dance? No, 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 my love, no, 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 no. Let's save it for the day, day. I want to get properly deal today. Yes. Okay. It's true. Yes. But you should have allowed me to no, dance. No, 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 no. Just learn everything. Learn, because I know you will win. I am very confident you will You must. My dear, practically all of them are learning from her. And how is a woman supposed to coach them that are up for the same trophy? Honestly, I don't know. I was there the first time. But after seeing what goes on there, I decided to train myself instead. Yes. What are you talking about? From what I heard, Aboma is the best that can give them the training they want. Of course she is. But Aboma is not a problem here. Our maidens are. One can feel the envy and anger as human from each of them, especially Ngozi and Ozioma. Mm -hmm. Well, Aboma is the best trainer they can get for the dance. I hope they make good use of it. What about you? What about me, how? Aren't you going to train? I mean, do you not plan to participate in the festival? No. I'm not interested. But you're not serious, are you? You mean you're not going to be there? Is that what you're saying? Let's just say for now, I don't know what I want or not. When I do, I'll let you know. There's no time. Time is not on your side. There's no time. <clears throat> Let's not forget I already trained. I know that. But we're talking about that, yeah? And not how to be a royal wife. Hmm? 
I know you are sent to be sick. A man of this kingdom attached to the palace as a slave. I beg your pardon? Who could? Am I the one you're calling a slave? I'm surprised you're angry. Why would you be? I mean, you don't, you don't have a mind of your own. You must cut every instruction given to you from the palace. Even your own property. Slave. You should not be seen standing here and talking with a slave. What you have observed so far? Do you think the festival is worth the attention of the people? The level of commitment from all the ladies is amazing. You need Even if the festival is not hold, this commitment, this togetherness is going to Go in there, refresh yourself, then come back and tell me all that you have discussed with Ukolo. Papa, nothing much. I can brief you immediately. Mm. Your father said go in and refresh. Be a good girl and do what your father says. If I discover that Ukolo said anything stupid to my daughter, I'm going to clamp down on him. I don't want to discuss Ukolo. As far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. it does not exist. You see your life? No, have you seen yourself? You know you are not even here to take a punch and you are insulting somebody. Yeah. Had it been your dad now, what would you have said? Ah, huh? I'm glad you're finally up Look at your feet. He's up. He's a slave. You had the audacity to throw a punch at me. We shall see. We shall see. Look at this loafer. This hoodlum. What can he do? He called you a slave. Are you not going to respond to that? I don't understand the look in your face. <laughs> what are you thinking? People might call Ukolo a lofa. But I'm definitely not one of those people that underestimate him in this kingdom. He is a man of many sides. Uzo, 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 please wait. I want to understand what you are saying. Are you possibly seeing me as a slave because he said that before you? He said it. And I'm sure there is more to that. It's very much possible you don't even know who you are. I, I don't know myself. It's very much possible. Hmm? I'm going to find out. You're going to find out. You're going to find out. Look at this, look at this, look at this girl I've been, I've been protecting in this kingdom. This, this idiot. She, she's going to find out. <laughs> hey. Look at this idiot that have been protected. <laughs> you will find out. If a woman decides to get a man and fails, it means she has not grown to have perfect control over herself. If she wants to take control over the life of any man, she must first conquer herself. How is that possible? If a man triggers your libido and you allow yourself to be laid when you don't want to be it's simply not that you don't have perfect control over yourself. And believe you me, you cannot be saved. The festival is all about dance. Are you implying that it may go beyond dance to something else?
you must surrender completely to this spirit. But you must exhibit perfect control over all your senses. This is the only way you can win. And everybody will be convinced you won. This is this is more difficult, very difficult than I thought. The spirits may force a congregation to rise and play if they are unable to control themselves when it comes. Rise and play? I don't understand what you mean by rise and play. When people rise and play, it means they are completely consumed by the spirits that they start mating in the open. Decency and moral morality would be suspended. And you see the mighty taking the law in the open without any remorse. You must not allow the spirit occupy you like this. You have to surrender to the spirit. But you must have complete control over all your senses. And um, please, Zoe should not be angry, eh? I want to ask a question. For those of you that know Uzema very well, I don't know. Um, have you heard from her? <laughs> Speak. Hey, I'm Please. Um, what is happening with Uzioma? Have you seen her? It's been long I saw her. I don't understand. Were you supposed to see her? She always comes around. Or did my tantin stop her from coming? Go on, see. Go on, see, see. Just wait. Oh. Anyway, if you must know, we hardly come on here since you baby started dancing with her. Yeah. Hey! Why do you come out? But um, what are her plans with the prince now? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me or what? No, no, no. Let me ask you. What plans is she supposed to have with him? What plans? Is she... How is she preparing for the festival? Please be specific. Do you even know what you girls want to do? But if you must know, she is no longer interested both in the prince and in that festival. And she's not even looking forward to it. <coughs> Amarachi, may the gods be praised. That is a wonderful news. Wonderful news that... I'm not threatened by her. It's just amazing how fate turns around and frowns at people you least expect. You are good when it comes to dance. Why are you bothered about in Dubisi? I know. I know I am a very good dancer. But his help will go a long way too. He is being the one pushing this for me. I don't understand. Pushing it for you. How? Do you want to understand? Just forget it. Even if I explain to you, you wouldn't. But you shouldn't have said that to him anyway. Listening to Elufa's words and responding to it was a very big mistake. I know. That's why I went to him and I apologized. Mm -hmm. He said he has forgiven me. But I still don't feel good about the whole thing. Don't. Don't bother yourself. After all, Indubis is not going to be the one to choose who is going to be the queen that day. So cheer up. Mm. Cheer up, my dear. Mm, forget about him. I have come too far to lose out. I will do whatever I can to get myself back to Indubis' best book. 
Uzoma is not going to be a loser. No. Jail bear. Ah. For 100 views. We've suspended this festival. And I have some people talking to the game. Say something about it. They say they want to make it an annual event. It will be happening every year. No one think about it. Hmm? We are very lucky that it's happening in our own time. In our own time. I want me and you. Me and you to hijack the festival. Me and you hijack the festival? Yes. So, I don't understand what you mean. How can we hijack the festival? See, in four days from today, hmm, all the maidens of this kingdom will gather for the prince. And prince will select one out of the maidens for a while. I want us to decide the fate of others. It is now becoming clear to me that you actually called me here to, to, to get me angry. What is my business with, with, with the maidens that I should be deciding their fate? Are you trying to tell me that you are not interested? Interested wow. in what? what? Look, I have this feeling that you called me here to, 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 to waste my time. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like it. I don't like it. Come. I know, the, I know you don't understand the tradition of this land. The, key, the prince is only allowed or empowered to marry one of the maidens. After marrying the maidens, me and you, we take over the rest and make sure we finish them. One after the other. Take over. Finish them? Yes. By, 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 by what way? By, by, by rape or by I beg? See, I don't blame you. The reason why they call you Uko is because you can never contest something. See, this thing I'm talking now shows me that your head is empty. You will drop. If not for one simple you drop. But I want you to understand that I am the planner. Hmm? The only thing you have to do is to say yes. Become my partner in this business. Leave the rest for me. I, I, I don't understand what you mean by me being your partner. But I just want you to realize that I do not have time for, 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 for this stupid nonsense conversation. And Honolulu, this should be the very last time in your life you ever call me out and start talking nonsense. This should be the last time. Chill out, baby. It was, it was, it was. I'm not going to be able to pull it down. It was with you. See, my friend. No, I cannot see you. But you need to go and get high so that you can talk to a high man. It is low, so you can understand some things. Thank God he left early because this is a big stomach for us. The festival comes up in four days from date. As the one in charge of music in this kingdom, I called you here to know how you're preparing. Your Majesty. Ndubisi, who is the one practically organizing the festival, has confirmed to me that Agboma will be the one to compose what the maidens will dance. And from the look of things, Your Majesty, it looks like our royal band has been exempted from their plans. What are they planning? Ndibisi is planning to bring a recorded music from Onichadu. He even confirmed to me that Aboma has formed her composition for Nkwa Umabo in Onichadu. His argument has been that he wants the maidens to dance to a particular kind of music that they have never heard before. He believed by so doing, it will be an excellent way to select the best, Your Majesty. Hmm. Amanze just left here. He confirmed to me that you're planning to bring a strange band from Monichado for the festival. Your Majesty, it is not actually a strange band. It is something we plan for us to get the best. The music shall be coming from giant speakers, Your Majesty, and uh, the whole square shall be filled with the spirit of dance. And uh, have you seen this band play before? Your Majesty, it is not actually a band. We call the Bunde Wapati. They play from machines. 
from large speakers. When Nkosho Baku was laid to rest in Obagogogo, his son invited the music group from Manishado to entertain the people during the funeral. And the people of Urobo up to date, they have not forgotten the, the entertainment they got from the band. I, I, I sincerely believe, your, your Majesty, that you will love their kind of music. Are you sure of what you're saying? Your Majesty, I, 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 I want you to trust me on this. Because this festival is very dear to my heart. My prince shall be selecting his wife and day. And uh, I, I believe we want him to get the best. We have settled with the musicians and uh, I, I, I believe they will not disappoint Your Majesty. Hmm. Very well then. Did you discuss this with my son? And uh, did you get confirmation from him that he's okay with the arrangement? Your, 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 your Majesty, I, I have his consent. Though it was difficult, but finally he gave his consent. We have already done everything and uh, everything is okay. I believe we are out for something big, Your Majesty. You know, I remember the time when you couldn't look into my eyes. <laughs> but now I'm happy. Because you have gone past that stage. If you continue this way, you would make me go shy again. Don't say that. Well, I came this night to inform you that we have changed the music for the festival. Are you serious? Yes. It's been changed to what? Uh, modern music. Yes. Uh, see, uh, they say the players will come from the child. Uh, they will come with uh, what they call speakers. Uh, that's what we project the music so everybody can hear. And uh, this is recorded music. You see, while they play, the ladies who dance to their music to entertain the people. Modern music. Well, I'm not bothered. I can dance to any music. Good. Good. The only problem is that I want to dance alone. What? I don't want anyone obstructing you from seeing me. In that way, I could convince the people that I don't have any competitor. You see why I say you're the best. You are the best. My dear, I'm the one who dictates what happens. So I'll give you what you want. As far as I'm concerned, other maidens are dancing to fulfill all righteousness. Because in the end, the maiden that you're laboring to impose on the prince as a queen, the same maiden that is parading herself as the best dancer, is actually the worst dancer amongst the middles. Abomma, hey, hey, you are not getting this thing. I came here for a different purpose entirely. I have secured the approval of the king to bring in the Guapati from Onishado to play during the festival. What it means is that I no longer need the assistance to manipulate anything because already I have an edge to manipulate the process once the Guapati comes from Onishado. What I came to do is to ask you to do me a favor concerning all the things we already discussed together about completing this process to favor this meeting I want to impose on the place as a point. Please, I don't want you to mention anything about it to anybody. That is why I came here this night to plead with you to do this for me. Please, be good. Catch you. Lubisi, come back here. 
I am not happy that a man like you, that occupies a sensitive position in this land, is not committed to due process. Eh? I agree with you that she is such a wonderful dancer. But what Why then are you moving around the kingdom, scheming to make her the queen? Because she made me a promise. What can't you understand this thing? She made me a promise and she is committed to the promise she made to me. That is why I am scheming. Because if she becomes the queen eventually, my life is going to be better than what it is. That's why I came to you to ask you to assist me. Do not mention anything concerning what we discuss with anybody. Keep it to yourself. Don't say a word to anybody. And then you will watch me, you watch me how I'm going to manipulate my sister. What problem? I will not say a word to anybody. Hmm? But if Odum Iwele is still our God, is still the God of this land, he will definitely reveal himself when the maidens gather. But at least you will not say what. You may now leave. Now! I now know the game plan. Who is this maiden that he wants to impose on the prince? And how is that supposed to be your business? <laughs> it seems you don't understand the weight of your offense I've uncovered this night. We are planning a festival. And you and Ndubisi have already settled on a particular maiden. I want to know who that maiden is. Do you know what's it? I want to go back to sleep. You really think I will allow you to go in and sleep? When you've not answered my question. It was only but one blow. One heavy blow. That didn't be seen of you last time. It was only but one blow. One blow of one, one blow that didn't be seen gave you. You collapsed. Not only collapsed, you fainted. Not only fainted, you almost died. In fact, you died and woke up. Next thing, this night, you have the boldness. The stability that they want to kill you for is making you to believe that you can block a bomber. See you. See. I'm going to go and I'm going to The best thing for you is for you to start going home. If you want to die, go to your house. Oh no, you go in the What is he doing here? <coughs> oh. Is it you and Ono do go now? A bomber? Ono do go. Since when have you started doing this? I will help the BC to accomplish this mission. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do we judge? No, 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 no. If you try to intimidate me with this, your nonsense, I will suck it. I have confirmed that you are just an empty human being. An idiot. In fact, if people go hoop, the man is not there. If you intimidate me with this empty chest, I will suck it. By the way, I'm going to make a move. Idiot. for this. Aboma, put that here. Aboma. Aboma. Hey. What's happening here? You finally fell into that trap? Hey. But please. Can you swear on the grave of your grandfather that you have not sold your royal oath with this thing here? Ha! 
Can you swear? Listen to me, Onolugu. There is no way you will visit Aboma by this time of the night. And you expect me, Ukolo, to believe that there is nothing going on between both of you. What do you want from me? Confirm it. Have you been doing anything with Aboma? Come on. See, there are things I said about you. I remember that I said them in error. I confirm that you are an idiot. An empty pot. You are taught you are intelligent. But now I can see that you are only but it. Wait, 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 wait on a logo. Say the truth. Which truth do you know? See, this type of blocking, I'm used to eat. If you try it with me, yeah, I will kill you and bury you here. Nothing will happen. You manage to return after the busy gave you one, one, two. See, if I give you my own, the priest alone will send you to a journey that you will never return. I see. If you move, fat. Even you and your spirit can never do anything. But let me tell you. Listen, let me tell you. A mama is like a water. You are like an empty basket of water. If you go water inside, water will leak out. Where are you going? Where will you be going? You will drop. You drop. Drop. Who is there? You will be. Oh, 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 why? Why must I bother myself with what she does with her life? Why? you think I know. So don't try to think someone like me with royal oath. Don't. Azuka, what are you planning to achieve in this palace? Do you want to become pregnant for the prince and ruin him or what? People start thinking about pregnancy when something has happened. Did he tell you anything happened? Did he? So what were you doing in his room? No, let me ask you. Was it the prince that invited you at this ungodly hour of the night? Or were you the idiot that went in there on your own? <laughs> See, let me tell you. My primary duty is to serve and obey him in all things. In all things? Yes. Did he tell anyone that I'm not discharging my duty to the best of my abilities? I don't know the reason for all these questions. <laughs> this girl. Okay. Are you going to participate in the coming Warm Boba Festival? <laughs> when the festival starts eventually, we will know those that gathered. Please, I want to go and sleep. Something happened between the priest and this idiot. Why are they not ready to accept that it happened? Okay, what is this difference? I'm surprised that you're still awake right now. Don't you want to sleep? I'm more surprised that you have decided to make a bigger fool out of yourself and you're not even bothered about it. Remember we had an agreement. Listen, let me tell you. If the prince finally makes me his wife, <laughs> I hope you will not get jealous. 
Azuka. If you are stupid, it lands you in trouble. Do not expect me to lie to anybody to protect you. Because me, I will tell them exactly what happened. Are you so okay, please? I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Chicken like me. I am surprised you're still awake by this hour of the night. It's for you to understand how I value this project. I've been busy all day, moving around, trying to tight all ends that will make you emerge victorious. <laughs> Interesting. So, what have you been up to? The important thing which is now established is that our local Igwa Puneshenyi and all the bands are headed by Amanza. None of them will be playing that day. So, what shall we be dancing to? Igwa Bati. Coming all the way from Onishado, recorded high life music, very fit. I want you to understand that that kind of music can only be worn by somebody who has a prepared mind. So I came all the way this night to ask you to prepare your mind. Forget, do away with thinking about the uh, back of the chain, all this uh, music, uh, forget all this music and concentrate on this kind of music that is coming from Monashado, if you are able to prepare your mind, then I can tell you this night that you are going to be the one that will be selected. The only thing I will say is, I will try my best. The truth still remains that the choice of music that I have now has not contributed anything to the quest. Because I still don't know how the music sounds. It's so my if you say that you make me feel bad. But I'm telling you the truth. I have already prepared myself for this festival. And I mean nobody. Nobody can win me in this land. They promise. That is because I am And when I hear you say that I am excited, you know? If you leave this palace today, don't ever come back. Please. For you are a disgrace. Please, please, no. Please, no, Jugo, please. It's not what you think. Yes, it's not what you think, please. It is not what I think. Yes. It is what I know. I'm so disappointed in you. God, hey! Please. Please. what I was telling you. <laughs> for you refuse to listen. How did you become a laughing stock of everybody? Throw her out. Hey. Now, move. <laughs> move. Move. This way, this way, this way. Your Majesty, that is slept with the maiden. You not make us cancel the festival we have already fixed. We shall proceed with our festival. Yes. What if after the festival, mm. we then discover that the maiden is pregnant? What shall we do? Prince, why are you chasing him like that? <laughs> because I'm going to kill him. I am going to kill this thing you gave me as a personal assistant. And I don't want him anymore. I don't want him anymore. If Undu should remain in this palace, he will no longer work for me. He should not be seen anywhere around me. If he's going to be here, let him work for you. Because I'll kill him. I don't want Undu around me. I don't want Undu around me. My place. Oh, Undu. Eh? What did you do to warrant such harsh uh, decision? I, 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 nothing. Nothing. Are you sure? We all know Azuka very well. Most times I even wonder how a maiden like her ended up in the palace. I can swear on anything that she was the person that seduced the prince. And you don't have to hate your man because of someone like Azuka. Ngozi. I will feel worse if it's proved that she actually seduced them. 
It means he has no control. And what? And what, Ngozi? I'm surprised you're the one saying this. After all the teachings from Aboma, you still blame a man for falling victim to seduction. Come on, give that young man a break. If there's anybody you should be angry with, that person must be Azoka, not the prince. I do not want to see him. I do not want to see him. Stand down. Please, just give him a listening ear, please. Greetings, my friend. Greetings. I don't know why you are here. I heard everything. <laughs> please, my dear, please. This whole thing started like a joke. You know, it started like a joke, but I believe she was paid by my enemies to dent my image and put this scandal on me. Thank the gods, you know, it's a scandal. I'm looking into your eyes right now, looking into your eyes and telling you categorically that nothing happened, nothing, nothing. Yes, she was found in my room, I agree, but Ndubis just blew this whole thing out of proportion. I'm telling you today and I'm standing on it firmly that nothing happened. I haven't soiled my royal oats. I haven't. I haven't. Please believe me. I I don't know what to believe again. I know it's difficult for you to believe me, but please find a place in your heart just to believe me. Please. Please. I... I have already... I have already decided not to participate in the festival again. Don't say that, don't say that, my love. Please, don't say that. Please. please. I know what I want. I know who I want. The dance is just a mere formality. That festival is just formality. That's what it is. I know who I want. And this... No, 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 I will not. Why? Because of mere rumors? Are you not just looking for any reason to pull out? Daoche, it is not just a mere rumor. Have you not heard? Have you not heard that the maiden in question has been sent out of the palace? Didn't I want you to stop associating with all these maidens that do nothing than gossip around? Amarachi is not a gossip and you know it yourself. She's about the only maiden who I'm friends with. I have warned you. I am the only one you should listen to. Take my word. Prince did not do anything wrong. Listen, you will go for the festival and you are going to dance. Of course, that's what my life has been about, to please you and you all the time. Do it one more time, maybe for the last time, just go and dance, maybe for the sake of dancing, like you said. Uzoma, the prince is insisting that nothing happened, and I want us to forget what happened. Forget it. Listen to me. Tomorrow is bigger than yesterday and even today. What will occupy your mind now is that you are going to march tomorrow as the queen of this kingdom. <laughs> Ndubisi, you sound like you're so sure that I would be the one the prince would select. Of course, I am very sure. Very sure because we have adopted what we call this engagement rule. Come tomorrow, I am going to be the one in charge of eliminating people. Do you think I will ever eliminate you? Do you know earlier in the day he, he attempted to fire me from the palace? His father overruled him. Who is he to fire me? Tomorrow, I am going to make you the queen. But I want you to remember the promise you made to me. Because come tomorrow, I am going to make you the queen of this land. <laughs> You know I don't disappoint. Just do your part and leave me to do mine. Good. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs>
Well, I won't say anything until it happens. What the problem was. Finally, a new man sat on the throne. Everything became normal. <laughs> How many bottles did you drink last night? What kind of stupid question is that? It's not a useless question. Very important question. You are an idiot. See, <laughs> if you tell me the amount of alcohol you took yesterday, I think I will be able to comment on your dream. Idiot. See. I don't want I don't want you to offend me, but see I decided not to take much of the drink so that my eyes will be clear. I'll be seeing everything with naked eyes. Honorable. That is not the answer to my question. Tell me the amount of alcohol you took yesterday. Anyway, I will tell you. Um I managed 18 bottles. Huh? Only. Only. <laughs> 18 bottles and uh, he didn't take enough. He can even go 50. I'm, I'm not here, idiot. Jeff, go up, go up, But let me tell you something. There is something I do that is a bit difficult. I'm, I'm finding it difficult to understand. See, linking my revelation to a bottle is, is not fair at all. What they showed me has nothing to do with bottle. They showed me a destroyed Umar Ali and a new king. But I'm trying to find out the relationship between the two. Maybe I am the king. I've seen it. It's, it's all over. Are you not seen it? Oh, you idiot. Go and drink two bottles. Because your eyes is dark. Drink and get high. Idiot. So that you will communicate. Oh, you will idiot. And I am not know. Come on, this is a bummer. Idiot. idiot. We are not, so we're not in the same level, so I cannot talk to you. Go and drink and come to my level. A bummer. As you can see, all the maidens are gathered to dance for the prince. But the initial arrangement was for this festival to hold in the village square of Otomiwele. Then Ndubisi conspired and brought it here in the palace. And do you have any problem with the festival holding here in the palace? Of course, Agboma, I have a problem with that. You see, my band were supposed to play and entertain our people because I believe that the music from my band would assure that the spirit of dance will descend on our maidens. I am so suspicious of this recorded music that Ndubisi brought from Onichado. You see, I have a feeling that he is planning to execute a deadly plan. Amanze, I know you as a man of the gods. You have never been accused of any abomination in this land. Aboma, thank you very much for the compliment. But I still don't know what it has to do with the issue on the ground. Do not bother yourself about Ndubisi and his deadly plans. I am happy that you noticed. Leave Odumi well to perfect what he started. Zioma, it is not a do or that affair. One thing is for sure, one maiden is going to win and I want that one maiden to be you. I'm only here to please you. I have no zeal in me to entertain anybody. The zeal shall come when you make up your mind. Feminine dance is all about 
seduction. Unleash the woman in you to get the man in him to stand. We are finally here to implement. We have had enough of the instructions. So, it's time. He may ultimately get confused and we will not know who is the best. What will you do if that turns out to be the case? After the first general dance, they will make a selection of about five or ten maidens. My mother said that any maiden that makes it to that level is regarded as a queen. Queen? I can't get it. Chiwendu, are you in any way saying that if the prince is unable to make a choice from the selected maiden, that we should all be his wives? Nekwenu Manyao, Ujumwa never said that. I can never, I personally can never share my man, my husband with any woman. I'm only repeating what my mother said. Oh, please, please, let's just stop this whole argument, okay? Let's try everything within our power to pass the first stage. As from the next stage, you know, anything is possible, okay? It is called the mystery of separation. This is what great women of old have used over the years. Force your man to see only you. Forget about your co contestants Climb to the heights where you will be the only one he will see. And once this is done, every other thing is possible. We all know why we are here. The prince is here with his friends and he's going to pick one of you today. The one that is going to be acknowledged as the best. Prove to us that you are the best and you may be selected as the queen. If a bumpa or the nanani, Mukuma ball. As you know, never talk for ma or Bulumun yes. But I tell you no yes. I tell you, Lianco or Yanu. Mukuma ball, a guany in a bala no baka. Una for long puma ball, a guany in a bala no baka. Puma ball, a guany in a tino, a guany in a bala no baka. Ebu, 
All of you are wonderful, wonderful dancers. We are here to make a selection. And as you know, some people must have to go. The prince is going to select the one. And in line with the disengagement rule we adopted before the festival, I am going to touch five of you. The five that I'm going to touch are the ones that are qualified for the next stage of this selection process. If I didn't touch you, that means you are not qualified and you have to step aside and watch the events as they unfold. Those are touched shall remain. Others. Your Majesty, I am not disappointed at all. When you give the youth a chance, they will prove to you they can do I pity my son. If I were in his shoes, I wouldn't know who to choose. But we will. We guide him. The gods are wise. No. Odumi Wele will not guide him. Because he refused to ask of guidance from Odumi Wele, the paramount god of our land. Hmm. I believe my son is going to make a mistake today. Why did you leave like that? 
I'm suspecting that the process is so, so unfair. We dance better than the ones they allow to me. Do not disturb yourself over nothing. Okay? We are just here to entertain ourselves, nothing else. Okay? I'm only disappointed. After all the training, they selected the maidens that don't dance well. So, you know what? Let's go back before they say we disrespected the crown. Let's go.
is not actually the truth. And that one is the one. I stand here today to say that the Enkwaoma ball is not a charity. 
It has proven to be a noble festival and confirmed that the gods of our land, Odumiwele, the paramount god of our land, does not make mistakes. My dear, you are destined to be queen. You were groomed to be queen. And that is why, after everything, you are the one who got the crown. Hereby present Today, I hereby declare you the queen-in-waiting of Umokbalere Kingdom. <laughs>